Welcome back, welcome back, welcome back to episode 28 of the Shard Shooters Podcast. I am your humble and gracious host, Mr. B Sharp, aka Mr. Brinsky Sharp on the ones and twos. We got four Negroes on the pod tonight and a special guest, ladies and gentlemen. A very, very special guest. So you already know I got to uh, bring him up here. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe to the channel and keep showing love to the pod. Thank you for all y'all support. And here they go, ladies and gentlemen. Y'all see the faces. This man still over here. Boy, GQ smooth. Boy, got yes, sir. the suit on. I'm surprised he ain't got on no ascot right now since he ain't got on no tie. <laughs> <laughs> the lawyer himself, Arlon, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. We back. We the back. man himself, Mr. Kappa Man, Mr. Shimmy all over the place. Mr. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, Mr. Wipe me down. Mr. Wipe me down. Hey, man. Wipe me down with that boosie, man. And, 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 shout, shout, shout out. A, shout out to good. Usher and Chris Brown. Shout out to Usher and Chris Brown. Man, what's happening, man? That, what's happening? Man, man. At the bottom with the camera, Mr. Party Animal, Mr. Drink Everything Up, Mr. Do It All. Mr. Foe sits himself. My main man, Tez, what's going on, dog? What's going on, man? Man, this, uh, he trying yeah, to act very cool. humble right now, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> I guess his team is not signing nobody in free agency. Yeah. <laughs> and ladies and gentlemen, a very, very special guest on the show tonight. Yes, proud sir. supporter, proud, proud, proud supporter of the podcast, ladies and gentlemen. A great human being, a Tuskegee legend himself. Them boys were taking over Tuskegee when I was still in high school doing the thing. Damn. Damn. Ladies and gentlemen, the founder of Crowd Noise Sports, Mr. Jason Walker, ladies and gentlemen. Yes, sir. <laughs> Yeah, first I, I, I thought you were talking about somebody else. I <laughs> <around>. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. His legend speaks for itself, man. His legend speaks for itself. <laughs> Two minute story. And y'all already know where we starting off with this evening. NFL free agency. Some teams mad. Some teams are happy. I'm, I'm pretty much at an eight right now out of ten. I'm, I'm liking some of the signings. For my team, but you already know some of the big signings with Saquon going to the Eagles, uh, Patrick Queen going to the Steelers, uh, Kirk Cousin going to the Falcons. Shout out to all Falcons fans. I hope Josh come up here tonight <laughs> so we can talk. I can talk greasy about him because last week I just said if the Falcons <laughs> sign Kirk Cousin, yeah. oh my god. And I'm sorry for putting that bad juice on y'all. Pause. But <laughs> what y'all think about uh, this free agency so far, man? Right, is, your you team, is your team looking good or are they looking bad right now? And according to Ted's look, his team is not doing nothing. <laughs> bro, we got some, uh, bro, we got some interesting signings. We got some interesting signings. Next year, going next year going to be lit. They should gonna be lit. It's really gonna be hard. I know the Chiefs are trying to go in for this three peat, but there's some teams that legit will be in the way next year. I'm looking forward to it. I'm looking forward to like the free agency signings that we've seen so far. I'm looking to see how the Ravens improve, how the Steelers improve. But I'm also looking to see how some of these teams come back. I want to see how Deshaun comes back for the Browns. Um, I want to see how Joe Burrow comes back with the Bengals. There's, there's, there's going to be some good some good moves. I want to see what the Colts do this year. I'm so disappointed in the Falcons, though. So disappointed. Yeah. So disappointed. Yeah. yeah. I mean, that's, that's hard, dog, dog. <laughs> yeah. hey, at some point, at some point, we got to cut it out. I'm talking, Georgia fans, I'm speaking to you. This is us. This is our time. Okay, listen to me. <laughs> For some reason, we have, <laughs> we have an unreasonable attraction to losers, okay? 
the fact they do it to us every year. We need to stop this madness. I say we all band together and disown the Falcons. I'm with it. I'm with it. I'm with it. Because you could have went, Kurt, you could have went Justin Fields. You could have grabbed any of these quarterbacks in the draft other than Caleb Williams. But you know what we did? We grabbed the 36-year-old who is currently dealing with an Achilles injury right now. He hurt right now. We don't even know if he's going to be able to walk again. He hurt right now. So, yeah, that, that's how I feel about free agency. <laughs> Anybody can go. I, w- I want to hear all y'all opinion on it. It can be anything, y'all team or whoever. And also, I forgot to mention Derrick Henry to the Ravens, which – is a yeah. monster signing bro. by the Ravens. I guess. Plus, 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 I, plus. Yeah. I guess, bro. They already had good backs, bro. It should got a wide out. Good back, what? Bro, <laughs> bro, that was that was they, bro. That was the number two and number three back running last year. They one back wasn't even there. Then bro, I, they had, I, I think, think Derrick Henry is going to bring the level to them that they had before. To be honest, with they've you. been at it. They had the, one of the best rushing tacks yeah. in the league. It don't get much better than what they had. It's gonna get better, bro. It's gonna get better. It's definitely gonna get better. They, 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 the only thing that yeah. the Ravens need is a wide receiver. That's that should have been the first. Receiver. That should have been the first pick. But man, it's still early. Who said they may not go after T. Higgins? Nah, the Colts don't get that. But anyway, uh, <laughs> nah, I'm just playing. My, my team ain't really do nothing, man. We gave up a backup quarterback, but. Uh, I'm I'm really liking that Josh Jacobs situation in the Green Bay. I'm really liking that one. That that's gonna be a good one. I'm I'm I'm, I'm kind of right. mad. It's like a love hate. I'm kind of mad they let go of Aaron Jones, but I'm happy that they picked up somebody equivalent, if not better. Um, oh, definitely better. Yeah. Um. To be honest with you, I'm I'm really excited to see what this Steelers team gonna bring with Russ. Hey, listen, come back, play as year, baby. The only though, reason why I say that is because Rush's first year in the Broncos was trash, complete trash. Second year, he was doing he was doing a little something. They want they want enough enough games. And they still trash. Twenty seven and seven. No, I'm just saying he was <laughs> he was growing in that system. I think he's gonna be put even in a better system now under Mike Tomlin. You feel me? And I feel like he's gonna have room to grow. Cause it's really no, it's, it's really no expectations of him. Yeah, really, yeah. really, they were definitely. Do you think it's they're, they're definitely? It's really, really, really. Do you think it's a quarterback battle? Do you think it's his job right now? For sure. Sure. I, don't, I don't think he's necessarily he going he's a shoe in to be the starting quarterback there. What? Really. what? Boy, what? They, 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 Who you talking about? They're not, they not paying him. You know, right. so they have he, no they reason have to, to play that's, him. That's the reason why I said no expectation. They're not paying this Boy, guy. You yeah, need it's a smart pick, but he might not even. Man, nah, put, I don't know how good he is than Kenny Pickett, bro. Like for real. For oh, real. he he way better. Yeah, how many better touchdowns than Kenny, Kenny Pickett, Pickett threw last year? Yeah, he he better than Kenny Pickett, bro. Russell Wilson threw more touchdowns but, last year than Kenny Pickett threw in his first two years. So, so are the Steelers? Are the Steelers yeah. a quarterback away? That's what you're telling me. They are Russell okay. Wilson away. From winning 13 games. They won problems. 10. They won 10 games last they, year. They definitely got bigger problems. Exactly. Yeah, they definitely got bigger problems. What's I'm the bigger saying, problem? What you mean? What's the Steelers' bigger problem than the quarterback? They don't have a line. They, yeah. they just got they got rid of one of their wide receivers. So now they really just bake down to George he Pickens. Wasn't really doing much, though. That's what yeah. I'm saying. Get if you got Kenny Pickett and, Mr. and Mr. Bitsky throwing you the ball, Coach ain't gonna be doing that. <laughs> to be honest with you, Kenny, Kenny Pickett ain't nothing but an upgrade from Drew Lock, and they ain't, they ain't saying nothing. To be honest, Bruh, with we you. don't really know how good this team gonna be with a new, new rejuvenated feeling on at quarterback. I'm telling you, Russell Wilson's good with play action. They got a play action coach. They got some good running backs. I think. They he's have a, a they have a system. chance to win at least two more games. Said, he's in a better system. Twelve and six. They said the same thing. In twelve or twelve and five, and they gave him the office. Nine games max. 
Who said that? Bro, they had a new head coach. Hey, I say 10. I'm, I'm going to say Matt Hackett. I say 10. Bro. I like Tomlin, though. I, I like Tomlin. Because if you, you can't even really count the, the last game against the Ravens because they played the third stringers yeah. 75% of the game. Yeah. Wins a win. I mean, oh, that's man, true. Y'all cut it out, man. Wins a win. But, but we, we know different. I mean, yeah. like, the only the only thing that hurt me this free agency was seeing Patrick Queen go to the Steelers. Yeah, Ooh, that's that, that was huge. He could have yeah. went anywhere else. He could have went anywhere else, and I would have been okay. Yeah, went straight Stone. to the rival. <laughs> he met Geno Stone. Both of them. Geno Stone mm. to the Bengals. Patrick Queen to the Steelers. Like both of those. Just, but that's Stone. As your kids, did, yeah. Um, yeah, go ahead. I, t- I talked to Keaton Mitchell yesterday, who was the you know third string back that just kind of came in. You know, his dad played at Tuskegee, so he got good old Tuskegee roots, and he's he's rehabbing quickly. He's expected to be back, and hopefully he'll be able to bring some of that world class speed back. Because before he got hurt, he was the oh, best back in the league, eight yards a carry. My boy was mm. that thing. I ain't gonna lie to you. Yeah. Then, Say it now, Russell Wilson, comeback player of the year. <laughs> Book it. All right. Yeah, yeah, I, I, if, I, I, if it wasn't for Baker Mayfield, Stop I'm it. putting him as my comeback player of the year for last year. Who, talking about Russell? What? Are no, you, are you, were you no, watching no, football? No, no, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. No, over, over who? Over who? Who was your comeback player of the year over Baker made after leaving out Baker? Who was your Tua. comeback player of the year? Ditto. He had a great season last year. Tua, 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 I mean, yeah, before yeah. the injury, before the injury, before the injury. <laughs> Come on. How do you think you get comeback player of the year? Before the injury, bro. Before the injury. Before the injury. Before the injury. <laughs> bro, he was in the MVP race before he got hurt. Come on, bro. What? Russ had a terrible season. They thought he was washed. He is. You don't I, throw 27 touchdowns and seven INTs I and not finish the season. I gave it the rest. Bruh. He only played like six games. <laughs> and flag he flag was flag terrible. Flag. Them defenses. Okay, y'all going to pretend like y'all ain't seen them games. <laughs> that man will have three interceptions, three touchdown games, bro. Come on. Hey, it was hey, that's, in the pan. that's why I said when Russell goes to the Steelers, bro. Man, the way he was mm. like coming back, bro. The numbers, the numbers don't lie, bro. Stats can be deceiving, dog. You can just, just literally yeah. watch the game. That man for was sure, not. for sure. He missed. <laughs> he did miss some throws. I ain't even gonna lie. He some. missed some throws. Yes, he missed some. a lot of throws. But guess yeah. what? Yeah, Comeback player of the year. The difference between the year before and the second year. What's crazy? Come on. Come hey, on. Hey, Y'all can't. Hey, I'm, I'm going hey, with man. my man Brinsky, man. Yeah. Deshaun Watson mm-hmm. was comeback player of the year. I know you fucking lying. Hey. <laughs> hey. <laughs> hey. Hey. The best last, thing he did was leave again. Last, that was the best last, thing he did. Last time I seen Deshaun play went 14-14 in the second half and beat the Ravens. And that was the last team – well, you know, before they lost to the Chiefs, that's sometimes stats, sometimes stats can be deceiving, Brentsky. That's all I know. Or that's what some guy told me a few minutes ago. I, I, hold on, hold on. I put it like this: Who has be, who had better receivers? When between Russell and Deshaun? Russell. I don't know. I think Deshaun has some good receivers, brother. Ask Joe Flacco. I think they have some pretty good receivers, if you ask me. But Russell had a lot of top two receivers. I don't think a lot of them were one receiver. I don't think Jerry Judy that fired, to be honest. I think he's good. I think but he's even, even if I'm having two he's number one receiver on what team? They lost a running back. They lost bro. Oh, they lost, here we go. Bro, they, here we go. Bro, here we go. You lose here your left tackle, your starting left tackle. You lose your starting running back, bro. They lost majority of their starting lineup. <laughs> And you bro, the man bro, right only up. played the son only played without his starter running back for a few games, bro. He went down right after that. I, I oh, got a question for you. What was their record before the son went down? Bro, what was the son's stats like? 
Forget Jackson. the record. That's that's a team. That's a team effort. Hey man, what was the stats like? Yeah, you're right. You're right. My bad, brother. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. I put it like this. Who gonna have a better year, Deshaun or uh, uh, Russell Wilson? Russell Wilson, book it. Dangerous. Okay. Hey, y'all want to put money on that? No, I'm tired of taking y'all money. Where the haven at? He owe me a hundred dollars anyway. Yeah, he said it, man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, but look though, how y'all feel about that? Uh, uh, Shaquille Barrett going to the Dolphins. Mm -hmm. Oh, he went to the Dolphins. He went I didn't even know that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He See, man, the there's so many man. NFL signs. I know. I didn't even we know got that. multiple people on here to talk. It's, about a, it's like happening by the second. Yeah. Man. Who did they lose? Uh -huh. They lost somebody on their defense, too, though, didn't they? They lost they uh, did, Christian they Wilkins. Did. Yeah, yeah, they did. Christian Wilkins. Man, but that, the Raiders just overpaid for that dude, bro. I'm like, my goodness, dog. They, get, they literally gave four years a uh, hundred mil, a hundred and something mil mm. for a defensive tackle. Unless your name is Aaron Donald or Chris Jones, <laughs> you shouldn't be. I'm going to give my boy Quinn another. Uh, well, Quinn up there, too. So, yeah, Quinn, bro, ain't nobody worth no money. And then, you know, the uh, the Panthers got uh, Robert Hunt. You know, they, they need an the O-line. They need an the O-line. <laughs> they were trash That's last fact. year. That's a fact. But they touch That's Bryce about it every play. <laughs> For real. <laughs> Hey, every play, every play. <laughs> I was like, golly, pan bruh. down. Yeah, bro, they like, still, they here. still got they that that team just got a lot of work to do, dog. They just, I don't know what they're doing right now. And anybody with eyes, dog, literally know them niggas need a line because every time that man hiked the ball, dog, it's like somebody in his face. I don't know touched. what they want this touched. man to do. Touched every time, boy. Every single time. Yeah. That boy is running for his life out there. And then they, they 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 showed uh what's up Brian Burns, you know Brian Burns uh one of their uh defense where they edge rushers, could go into the uh Giants, but man they showed like a graphic that the Rams offered these fools. I two, saw that two first round picks and a second round pick to the Rams to go get them. Then they showed the other graph to the Giants. The Giants offered him like a fifth and a sixth round pick. And they accepted that. Boy, what is going on, bro? That that somebody need to be fired off that yeah. alone. Yeah. He want to get out of there. They want to the turn great. The Got to be raising hell. Hey, I'm yeah. just gonna let you know, Brinsky. The Washington football team they ain't about to do nothing with Austin Eckler, bro. <laughs> they ain't about to do nothing with him. Man. Hey, I think Austin. Eckler hey, boy, we gonna ball. Up. We gonna ball, boy. Man, the time we get Jane Daniels. Who, who, who is our quarterback gonna be? Jane Daniels, Bucky. Low key. It uh, might, it might, it might. Because for some reason they just know. don't want to. They don't want. They don't want to pick the Patriots, bro. I, I kind of think it's gonna be Caleb huh. Williams. I no. take it too, but 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 uh, the Bears ain't letting go of that number one pick. Bears ain't letting go of that number one pick. I think it's gonna be the hometown hero. The, the Bears yeah, keeping. We, we're not trading up to get him. That's the only problem. Now, if we had the number one pick, yes, we're going to go get him. But he's not leaving uh, Chicago. They're going to get rid of uh, Justin Fields. We're going to draft Jaden. Hopefully, they don't mess it up. They've been doing the opposite of everything I want them to do this offseason. I wish, I wish, I wish mm. that boy DeHaven was on here, man. Shoot, they I think he chose league. the right night. No, but his team doing good. Yeah, they doing really good. Yeah, Joe they, Mixon, yeah. they got they Joe Mixon. They got uh Jeff Okuda on the other side yeah. of um of uh Darius Steam. Bro, they about to be nasty, boy. They're <laughs> they gonna, they they gonna be straight. They're gonna be straight. I ain't gonna lie, bro. The, the Texans yeah. is a team to watch out for right for sure. now. They are definitely yeah. a team to watch out for. I just wonder if, if uh -huh. CJ Stroud gonna hit that sophomore slump or not. Slump is a real thing. You know, and they they got it, they got it, they got it, they got a year on them. They got a year of tape yep, on them. Man. It's a real so, thing. They get, they get I, it's a real thing. Got a year to, <laughs> to be honest with you, I think he gonna he gonna be straight. He gonna be straight next year. And if he, they he, go out, he got a good coach. He got a good coach. He got a great coach. coach. He does. Yeah, bro. They literally. I, I this this is what I kept trying to explain to the Haven, bro. Like they literally got Patriots guys. All in the front office. Mm -hmm. Then you go out and get D'Amico Ryan. 
Then you got already you already had a good offensive line. The defense was already decent. Now they are even more stronger. They are literally if they go out, just say they go out and get T Higgins for uh CJ Stroud. That may be a contender for real now. They could be. They could. It's be. gonna they, put them in a window for sure. Yeah, they got yeah. bro. They have so much cap space. They almost up there with us. I think we got the biggest one. Right. But they have so much cap space, dog. I'm like, bro. These boys, they usually I, well. <laughs> oh, they, are they? But look, though, listen, though, like for Houston, bro, this is the time now. With this between this year and the next two years, this is the time you you need to aim for a Super Bowl. You need to aim. if you yeah. don't get a Super Bowl before, after before next you got to pay your quarterback. Exactly, you're not gonna. You yeah. got to do it before you got to pay your quarterback. Yeah, you got to do it before, like the whole team, man. Yeah, to be honest with you, they're gonna dismantle that team in the next three years. Three, you know, four, four years. You really? Who are you talking about? I'm talking about Houston. Nah, man, they ain't gonna dismantle that team. They so man, young, bro. They, they ain't spending no they money. They, yeah. Listen, if they if they keep projecting and playing the way they playing right now, and they don't win a Super Bowl within the next three to five years, blow. bro, that team is gonna get dismantled, bro. What you say? You said I give you five years. That that's something totally different. But I said three to five. All these rich. No, no. If you give me five years, they, not they, three they years. Have, huh? I'm not giving you three years, five years. Okay, I can understand it. Because now we got added time on there. I but, man, this, five, bro. it's going to be he, hard to pay. He's going to he he want Stroud. some money, bro. He's going to yeah. want some money. TJ Stroud is way ahead. But, you ain't, but the, see, you ain't got to worry. Oh, no. You got you, – the best thing about the uh, NFL, I'm about to say this is about to be year two. So, year two, year three, year four. Then, they, of course, they're going to pick up the fifth-year option. So, that's four years. They ain't got to worry about uh paying them to the fifth year. I mean, well, uh, the but, sixth but, year. But, but look, though, how, how, many, how many teams are waiting till the fifth year to pay yeah, their quarterback? Jalen no, Hurst got paid. Uh, Tua got paid. All these Kyle Murray got paid. Kyle Murray yeah. got paid. They're yeah. they yeah. not waiting till the fifth year to pay this man. They can't wait till the fifth year to pay this can't wait till the fifth year. But even, wait, even, yeah, if, they, wait, even if they do pay them, they're going to still have room for a bunch of stuff. They're gonna still be all right. I don't know, man. I don't know because they they're gonna have to pay Will. Will they Anderson loading up like they got money they, lo- they loading up right now, bro. <laughs> and then they paying the minimum. Right they gave, uh, minimum they, right yeah. they, they, they got they, they got, got hundred like fifty years. million. Yeah, yeah. man. They got they got they got they asking for some money, bro. It's over. Bruh, there's some good teams yeah. over there, bro. When you said Shaq Barrett went to the Dolphins, bro. Yeah. Imagine when Jalen Phillips and Bradley Chubb come back, bro. Whew. Them boy, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. and they just, oh, yeah. bruh, bruh, yeah. and then they, no, they I, just they just picked up a Jordan Poirier too. Now see, that's what they they yeah. needed guys like that, bruh. They yeah. they, they they can make they, some noise, dog. They, they 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 up there for one of those teams because I Chubb showed because they could not get to Pat Mahomes when they played them, dog. Because you ain't had that mm-hmm. pass rush. I know uh, Chubb would have got there. For sure. Oh, for sure. For sure. But one I thing that uh, – that, uh, what's his name? Yeah, Nick yeah, Bosa yeah, said yeah. that was uh, so real when he was saying uh, that they uh, tackles be holding a lot. Boy, that showed in the Super Bowl, boy. Oh, for it sure. It showed so oh, much. Yeah. And they didn't even play. Huh? Yeah. He said, yeah, they good when they not <laughs> – when they – he said they good when they uh hold it. Yeah. Man. <laughs> Even Cal Shanahan was like, yeah, when, when they caught Trent Williams holding. They, he was like, yeah, you see, they doing the Got to call thing. it more way. And they do it every time. You know, that last drive, man. Man, man yeah, bro, that's, that's all. Man, we don't want to talk about that. We got what, Jeremy what, Chin, man. We got, we got some guys. Let man. me ask y'all a question. What, what, yeah, team yeah, y'all think, what, what team y'all think T. Higgins need to go to? Carolina, Bryce need a Bryce need one. He needs somebody. I said I said oh, Ravens. Well, that's what I want. Awesome, but yeah, but but they don't need they, it. They, 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 they not trading that man in the division. I can promise you that ain't gonna happen. But they need him. 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 Sure. It is over. Like, That's why they're not going to trade them in the division. That would be oh, that would be stupid. If you trading somebody in the division, you basically saying 
bro, you ain't like that. We ain't yeah. worried about you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's when uh Philly traded uh uh Donovan Man now to my team. I was like, what these fools crazy? And Donovan was <laughs> trash, boy. <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 I just come to the realization, boy, that ain't that ain't Eagles done with Matt now that we getting, boy. Nah, nah. But that, that was a scrub, boy. Uh, yo, yo, Don, had a little yeah. too much. Too. That's how I feel about hey, Russell Wilson. Another, <laughs> another, another thing that right happened here. in free agency, man. Aaron Jones went to the Vikings. Do you think that was oh, a good yeah. pickup? It all depends on they, what they quarterback get. Yeah. 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 And I believe. Well, Jordan Jefferson was saying something about uh, they got Sam Darnold. They got Sam Darnold now. Yeah, but they were talking about Justin Fields was saying something about. I said Justin Fields. Yeah, Justin. Uh, Justin, Justin, Justin Jefferson. Jefferson was saying something about Justin Fields coming there. And the Bears mm. ain't crazy. The Bears ain't crazy. That's what I'm saying. That's another thing. They're yeah. not going to trade nobody yeah. in the division. Somebody you got to see. Yeah, that'd be tough. Yeah, that'd be tough for real. But that man. I mean, it, it's so it's so many good signs. I've been that's why I said, well, who have been y'all uh, favorite team doing uh that been making some of the best deal? For me, it's easily been the Eagles and the, the Texans. Eagles. Yeah, the Eagles and Texans for sure. Cause they literally making all the right moves <laughs> yeah. that they need. I feel like the Jets the Jets just signed somebody too, though. They uh they might be straight if, if Aaron Rodgers, you know, if he come back where he's supposed to be. But yeah, they need bruh, to if y'all don't if y'all don't think Aaron Rodgers coming back the way he's supposed to be, I don't want to hear nothing about Kirk Cousins, bro. Oh man, I, hold yeah. on, I'm, I'm saying, wait a minute, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm so glad you said Kirk Cousins. Because, ladies and mm-hmm. gentlemen, Mr. Falcons <laughs> fan has just made it in here, ladies and gentlemen. Please tell us. Please tell us, Josh, how you feel. What's up, guys? Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you clear, we sir. Hear you. Yeah. We hear you very. <laughs> yeah, Talk man. about your Falcons, sir. <laughs> Oh man, I yesterday started off, and it's crazy. I was I was in my fourth block teaching, and I got the memo, and I just started going crazy. Right. Like kid, my kids was like, "What's wrong? What's wrong, Mister Dennis?" But uh, I was I was ticked off at first, man. I'm like, Kirk Cousins, Justin Fields is right there. This, a, a whole Justin Fields, 24 year old, athletic from Georgia. You know what I'm saying? Got the Got the arm has improved this throwing over the last few years. You know what I'm saying? It's right there. Like everybody been saying it. We've been screaming it. Right, it right to itself. Media. And to see Kirk Cousins, I'm like, no, he's old. He's injured. Come out from the Achilles injury. He's not Aaron Rodgers. So I don't want to hear that that comparison. Oh, he's Aaron Rodgers. Come out of Achilles injury too. Yeah, but Kirk uh, Aaron Rodgers is legendary. Kirk Cousins is not. And so it's just like I was I was mad, but then I started kind of talking to some people. I kind of started seeing some people's opinions, some Falcons fans' opinions, and they were saying, you know, this is the best quarterback we would have had since Matt Ryan. He, um, you know, he has he's been a top. Yeah. He's been a top five quarterback when it comes to stats wise over the last couple of years. A lot of that is, is attributed to Justin Jefferson. You know, what I'm saying he's very accurate. Uh, decently, decently kind of mobile. Um, and you know, he doesn't have the best arm, but he does uh, his accuracy makes up for that. Good decision maker, doesn't turn over the ball a lot, stays relatively healthy, so forth and so on. And on top of that, he'll probably get Kyle Pitts numbers up, he'll get um uh, Drake London's numbers up, and then you got to think about how Raheem Morris and them is coming from coaching uh Matthew Stafford, and so it's like. You have a veteran quarterback, veteran sh- and, and, and with a, a veteran coach with Raheem Morris, and someone that's coming from a type of system with a veteran QB. And then I now I don't know how true this is going to be. Now this was just blow things out of water. I'll cut everything I said about Justin Fields out. They said there's a potential that Justin Jefferson comes to Atlanta. Now if we somehow I've seen the report that says it's between the Patriots and the, and the Falcons. Because he yeah. is not liking how they let go of Kirk Cousins and offer of Kirk Cousins, you know hey, that, that deal. Josh, so, let, me, let me let me tell you let me tell you something. <laughs> let me tell you something, Josh. Josh, I said this before you came here. 
<laughs> the Falcons fans have an unreasonable alliance <laughs> with losers. Don't let them brainwash you, Josh. It's bad. This isn't good. This isn't good. But, but you, Kirk Cousins is known as a loser. Yes. No, not, yes. Even, not regular yes. season. Not yes. regular season. I don't wise. think he's known not as regular a season wise. And he's he's not had. He's going to have Bijan Robinson. He's going to have uh, Drake London. He's going to have Kyle Pitts. He's going to have Tyler Algier. He's going to have Darnell Mooney. You know what I'm saying? Josh. We're going to get somebody at the draft. Josh. Then the Josh. defense on the other side of the ball. So he can, he's definitely the best quarterback in the division. Now he's better than Derek Carr. He's better than Bryce Young. He's better than Baker Mayfield. And he has a record that's not that bad. Yeah, he only has one playoff win. But you got to think about the other side of the ball. How he's never really benefited on that side with what we have now we got JB3 in the back. I heard somebody say we lost Jeff Okuda. I didn't I didn't know that. That's gonna be tough, but we'll we'll go get another cornerback. That's fine. We got AJ Terrell, we got Ellison, we got the linebackers, you know what I'm saying? Then hey, we got a yeah. young defense. Josh. Hey, Josh. So, bro. Yeah, yeah. Bro. I, I, bro. I appreciate bro. you for sharing. I appreciate you for sharing all them facts, bro. But this is worse than y'all 28 this, this is this is this is what? Yeah. This is what? Yeah. When you said he was better than Bryce Young, I kind of tuned out. Right, right, hold on, right. what you say? Hold on, what you say? Oh, Kirk not better than Bryce Young right now? <laughs> Man. Listen, Josh, I think it's a I pleasure think the Falcons and sell the Mercedes. I ain't never met Josh before. Hold on, what Jay said. I ain't never met Josh before, so I, it's, it's, it's a pleasure to meet you. But, like, <laughs> ain't no way you believe it. Like, Kirk Cousin got naked pictures of you or something? I mean, I mean, I I know somebody that works for the Falcons, and he's been getting he's been getting comments all the time about Justin Fields this, Justin Fields that. Well, if we're honest about it, Kirk is better than Justin Fields throwing the ball. Now, obviously, Justin has the athleticism; it will be exciting, but it will it will it lead to wins. Hey, let me tell you something. Here's here's but but y'all not okay. Look, I don't know about that one, man. See, see, see. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. Here's the thing. With Kirk Cousins, okay, we know your floor, but we also know the ceiling. The ceiling ain't that high for y'all with Kirk. You have Justin Fields, Mm. whose ceiling is virtually untapped. Justin Fields, right now. If he's not better than Kirk, he damn sure close. No, he's not. He better. damn sure close. No, he's he's not, damn he's not, sure. He's not a he man. damn. I mean, we oh, haven't seen look. we haven't seen Justin Fields in a situation that is set up for him to be a winner. Everybody looks good in a great situation. We have not seen that for him yet. So you can't tell. We can't. We don't know how good Bryce. He doesn't know how good Bryce Young is because he's in a system to fail. Okay, you can look a certain way in a certain system. He's, he's it's very possible, it, bro. Right, it's, right, bro. It's very possible to look a certain way. So <laughs> I, I'm willing. I'm willing to take the risk on on Justin Justin Fields over Kurt because with Kurt, I know where my ceiling is. Kurt ain't ever gonna be above this right here, ever. But, but he's again a proven regular guaranteed. season winner. He's a proven regular season winner. Give him a defense. Give a run him a running back. Give him, give him some receivers. Oh, give him a tight end. You see what he did? He's at Hawkinson. All he got to do is win the division. It's the worst division football. He doesn't have a Justin Jefferson anymore, bro. The same for him, though. He don't have a Justin Jefferson anymore, bro. He don't. But he got, he got a, he got Kyle Pitts who can now find. Because think about Kyle no Pitts. Yeah, that, that is no Justin Jefferson. He had an old, he had an old Matt Ryan that still put up a thousand yards. Now Kyle Pitts in his fourth year, he has actually a decent quarterback, not Marcus Mariota or Desmond Ritter. I mean, he's going to absolutely shine. Yeah, so he'll shine, like, but he, he's not Justin Jefferson, bro. He's yeah, not. Yeah, yeah, okay. we, yeah we, don't, we don't have a Justin Jefferson, but we uh, have with Darnell, uh, Drake, and with Kyle Pitts, those things added together produces, to me, with the Kirk Cousins, an above-average type of passing offense. That's what I'm saying. But you said above-average? Yeah, above average. If, if, if everything comes together, I think we'll have a top five passing offense in the league. Most okay, I, okay, I, I, I can't do this. I can't do this. What? I can't do this anymore. <laughs> I, I can't. What? They're brainwashing you, Josh. Your friend is out of place. They're brainwashing you. Your other yeah, friends. I'm telling you, hey, we live hey. in Georgia. 
Let him believe in his team, bro. Let him believe in his team, bro. I just don't believe in the Falcons at all. I never let me say, him. let me save my boy. I can't save them all, but if I can just save one, Josh, join in and with me. We're banning. We are. We are. We're no longer Falcon fans this year, bro. It's over. I, now, when I first when I first so, got the message, I was like, "Oh yeah, I'm gonna be a diehard Baltimore Ravens fan." You know what I'm saying? There you go. But yeah, man, you can't just go out and go to a winner. You can't just go to a winner now. Why you can't? Been, I've been, I've been, like, lost too long, I've been, bro. I've, 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 I've been like Lamar Jackson. What I'm saying. Hey, yeah. That don't mean you can just automatically go to the team. Bro, you gotta go we've to lost go to a mid team or something. No, we've lost to too winner. long, bro. No, we bro, I'm come tired. Come we tired. Josh, you paid the dues, bro. bro. Don't miss the bitch. But, but, but with, but with, two with Justin, I haven't with, seen it yet. I mean, we we just don't know for sure if Justin Fields would for sure get us to the playoffs. Now, yes, he, he'll be that he's division, bro. He's a better long term decision. He's a he's a better long term. You get so to pay the you get you the this question. You get to play the Saints twice and Carolina twice, bro. Right? Yeah, the Saints twice. That's four. Twice. That's and, four. Um, you play the, books, the Buccaneers, the Buccaneers twice. But it'll be questionable if just if we got Justin Fields instead, it will be questionable if he was the best quarterback in that division. Quarterback, not athlete. Quarterback. I mean, think bro. about it. Well, think about what might the Mike Vick days. No one, not too many people saying Michael Vick's the best quarterback in the league. He was the the best athlete. Tom Brady. I mean, they were, they were, was they always were stupid. They were him. they were stupid back then. Man, I don't. Yeah, that was done back I, then. I, I don't think Kirk Cousins. I don't think Kirk Cousins is a bad quarterback, bro. He's gonna put up numbers. Get him on your fantasy team. You, you know, he's gonna do all of that. But like the backup. But where y'all trying to go? Y'all paying him. Y'all paying him like he been somewhere that he hadn't been. Like. <laughs> He, he, yeah, he, we, yeah, we did overpay him. Yeah, million guaranteed. You know what I'm saying? That man, that man, so that man, agent, close to two million dollars. That man, agent, in the B, to be first fans. ballot Hall of Fame. Get that man a gold jacket. <laughs> you talking about, now, I'm now, talking about his agent? Now, yeah, his now, agent, his agent, Hall of Famer, boy. His agent, well, Hall of Famer, ballot. Ballot. Ain't even no question. Don't leave right. this man off. If you're now, a young quarterback I, and you want to learn something from Kirk Cousins, learn how to get paid. I'm about to look him up before we move on to the next topic <laughs> because I got to know this man's yeah. name. Protect I got to know this man's name. <laughs> Dude, that, that man is the GOAT, man. Facts. Ooh, facts. Oh, yes, no, yeah. I don't know what he does. Kirk oh, Cousins, Kirk Cousins is the richest unproven quarterback that I've ever seen. Ever. Mm-hmm. All time. All time. Mike McCartney. Well, actually, I, I put Baker Mayfield in that topic too, though. Really. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Baker Mayfield, what? Baker Mayfield run with the Browns. He took Browns to the playoffs. Yeah, the playoffs. Sure, but, did you, you you're you're hey, but you remember what the Browns were like before he got there and when he left? But do you remember the Browns didn't have those players either? The Browns what happened when he left? What happened when he left? What happened when he left? What happened? You know, Baker left, right? What happened when Baker left? Them, a lot of them players were still there. They did not make the playoffs. Like who? First stop. Okay, you know what? We ain't, we ain't, we ain't about to do this. I see what you're about to do. You're not going to bait me today, bro. You're not going to bait me. <laughs> I I the Falcons did it to They did it to me enough. I didn't want to give Mike McCarthy. Kirk Cousin, agent, a standing oh, ovation. Yeah. That man, salute! Yeah. I salute you. You deserve. I know greatness when I see it. Uh, that is greatness. That man should really teach a class on whatever he's doing, bro. Because my goodness, <laughs> every that, agent needs to learn from him. And, and, and which all? And watch this. Watch this. His, the, clientele, his clientele about to go up now. In oh, the hood, we call that finesse. He don't need That's no clientele. Doing. He got Kirk Cousin. He uh, is nah, a client nah, nah, if he can't make uh subpar players get that much money, oh, he's right. He's it said he's Kirk Cousins made 231 million dollars in NFL contract through 2023. That's the fourth yeah. highest mark in NFL history. This is the fourth highest paid. Yeah, he's he gonna get paid. <laughs> Check his touchdown to interception ratio. That, that's crazy to think about, man. That this dude. But, yeah, no, I agree with I agree. His, that his agent makes sure his agent makes sure every time it's time to renegotiate that media deal, Kirk Cousins is up. 
Every single time that up. money come in, yeah. he available, bro. You got hey, man, that, that's a good good brother right there, man. That's a good brother right there. I want to shake that man's hand. I'm going to meet him one day, and I'm going to shake his hand and let him know how, how great of a man he is. Because ain't no way in hell. So he yeah. represented Kurt def- Warner, Arian Foster, Muhammad Sanu, all these people who got these late contracts for way too much money. Sean Lee. Yeah. Go. The GOAT. Big GOAT. He's literally the GOAT. <laughs> yeah. yeah. I, I, definitely, I definitely agree that we over, overpaid Kirk Cousins, but the saving grace of that is he's getting most of it on the front end of the contract, meaning that we'll probably, in this draft or next draft, be looking for a quarterback to train under his tutelage. This year, I wouldn't mind Joe Milton or Jordan Travis um, to train under Kirk Cousins. So when Kirk Cousins retires or – when Kirk Cousins' contract runs out, then we'll have that quarterback yeah, ready. Yeah, but at the end of the day, they you see, still you see what you're doing? Y'all already yeah. planning on 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 losing to train the next guy. Hey man, no, look. I don't. I know I don't plan on losing training the next guy. No. I plan on Kirk Cousins getting older because oh, y'all training. So y'all he, training he, to lose? No, he no. already thirty six. Y'all, y'all had the Patrick young guy Mahomes, to get. My home sat behind Alex Smith. Sat behind Alex Smith for a year. All right, we're gonna have to move on now. I got, I, 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 we gotta move on. We gotta move on. I'm just gonna say the only thing that Kirk Cousins gonna do is just make Cal Pitts the uh first ballot tight end that he was supposed to be coming Man. out the game. Yep, he gonna no more. Team brainwashed no the city every year. Throwing the ball, man, it, it bothers me so much. We're making, we're winning the division, Arlon. All he's gonna do is y'all said that last year. Stats. Well, we're we're winning on division with no dog on Desmond Ritter. Y'all said that last year, beginning of the I season. I was, there. No I was there. I was there. I don't want to hear that no more. We we moving on. We're moving on. Y'all right. already know <laughs> that one of the uh yeah one of one of one of the uh yeah. highly anticipated uh games of the year for the women. Well, just highly anticipated game period. South Carolina versus LSU. I believe South Carolina is better. They, of course, they got the better coach. Shout out to Dunn Staley. But it got a little feisty. It got a little feisty. We ain't even talking about the game. The game? <laughs> <laughs> we talking about fights, man. We talking about Flage bumping in to one of the South Carolina players. And Condoza. I think I'm saying the last name right. I always mess up on her name, but she died too. She uh pushed Flage down to the ground. Her brother jumping over the uh, scores table, not doing nothing. Shouldn't been doing nothing in the first place. I, I, I and I want to get this out of the way. If anybody thought her brother was doing the right thing, I'm like, bro, it's basketball with a bunch of women. She is okay. It ain't like she was out there with a bunch of dudes about to get stomped out on. She is okay, trust me. Ain't nobody about to throw no hand. But about to pull weave though. Yeah, they hands flying everywhere. Yeah, they ain't about to do that, man. They don't want to get suspended, man. You seen as much what whatever that was, they weren't gonna do nothing. Right. I didn't want to know y'all thoughts on this altercation yeah. slash game. I love it. Real quick, I love it. I, we I spent it. so much time on the free I love agency. It. I love it. This is what this is what female basketball needs. We got the skill. You want the viewers to come? We need the toughness. Bring the toughness. You, ain't, you can't match the athleticism of the NBA, but you know what you can't? You know what you can surpass? The competitiveness and the toughness. That's what I like to see. I like to, I like to see the women fighting, getting mad, getting in your face. I want to see all that. You can't dunk. It's okay. I throw these hands. How about that? I like to see that. I, I was tuned in. That was that was one of the most entertaining basketball games of the year. Yeah. Of the year. That's very true. NBA, WNBA, I don't care. That was it. That was it. I feel like they can display that toughness without getting, you know, kicked out. You feel me? Like it's a certain level, you feel me? Yep. You know, it would it would have been a a good game regardless, but had the, had they since they got kicked out, we look at it like, oh man, shoot, they 
They got the fighting. They were pulling weed. They were doing this, whatever, whatever. And for her, for her brother to come down there, man, yeah, I, I agree with you, Whiskey, man. There wasn't no dudes out there on that floor. I don't know why he, why he stepped out. And he got charged. He got charged. I was like, bro, what? Dummy. Yeah. <laughs> Dummy. Just dumb. Yeah. Who, who was he gonna fight though? That's the crazy thing. I, I wonder who was he gonna hit. Like, like <laughs> he was gonna hit. That is funny. Nobody. He, he didn't want no smoke. Yeah, man, but he, he looked up. Saw she was six seven. It was like, man, this was the right idea. <laughs> I, I put it like this: that man would have swung on that girl. Yeah. You would have really seen some uh, weed yeah. flying in. I'm telling yeah. you. Oh yeah. <laughs> Oh, he just sent a ten. Things gonna drag him. Absolutely. Yeah. And then they, they, they gave they gave Andrew, I, Andrew Reese uh backlash talking about well why why you ain't do nothing you ain't do this I'm like bro she, she ain't had to do nothing what, she, what what was she gonna do what was that to do but, right yeah what was that to do I do I think it's a it's kind of a double edged sword right so I think it's. It, it's good for women's basketball to an extent because it is putting eyes on it, but it kind of has to be contained, you know? Like, we, we like the physicality. Think about it. We know way more about women's basketball now than we do the, the men's college basketball team. Who's the best player in men's college very basketball? Right? Exactly. <laughs> like, exactly. But so, like, this is their moment, you know? Ronnie James. <laughs> You better stop for LeBron get you. <laughs> the last time they talked about his son. Oh, stop the cap. Oh, stop the cap. But like this is the greatest <laughs> time in sports for them. So I mean, it, it's good that they're getting the exposure, but we do kind of have to find a line, especially because it is unfortunately it's a lot of black girls. We know they already are perceived in a certain type of light. So we do have to kind of find a fine line for that, you know. Mm -hmm. I do that. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know, yeah. but uh, I don't, I, don't, I don't agree. I don't agree. Put put the fights yeah, in there. Man. Put the emotion in there. <laughs> My bad, too. Josh. My bad, Josh. Good. Good. Yeah, man. It was interesting. I had read a post that said Cardoso. She hit a she hit the game winning three, uh, the day before she dropped number four. Uh, so, uh, <laughs> 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 uh, what she, oh, she whoever hit. wrote that headline. Oh man, they yeah. deserve the medal. Yeah, yeah. So um, I, I watched the game, and I, I was, yeah, it, it was fairly entertaining because I, I was, I mean, you don't, you see, the hype more so with college women's basketball almost, almost more than WNBA for what I see. Um, they market it better. College yeah. women's basketball is just like, I mean, it is, I mean, college sports in general, the fanhood is more loyal, and so um, yeah, you got I'm NIL now, so it's a little bit more money that's involved. But I mean, I was kind of surprised at the same time. I'm like, dang, they're both really getting up for a women's game like this? It was the SEC championship. And so, uh, you know, Angel Reese, you know, Cardoso, you know, South Carolina had won all these, you know, had, is, is undefeated. And, you know, LSU was trying to repeat as champs from last year with Angel Reese. Um, and so, you know, I didn't, um, I didn't see that, that, you know, fight until I went back and rewatched it. And, you know, it started, you know, from, um just just frustrations flaring at the end with LSU because they were losing. Um and so um you know they you know uh number four she got slung to the ground and you know then they kind of got into a tussle there. So I mean I don't it, I, I think it kind of it you don't want things to be shed in the negative light when it comes to something that's positive, women's college who the competitive nature of it. And so it's like me personally if I'm a coach I know uh, the the coach for uh, LSU. Uh, yeah, she was she was sulky. She was like she wish she wishes Angel Reese would have that would have been her that was pushed instead of uh, instead of number four. And so it's like, um, and you know, do you want your star player in that? You know, what I'm saying because we've seen situations in basketball where star players get ejected because of getting into some type of confrontation. Now that results in them getting suspended. Now that team loses the championship, i.e. Draymond Green um, in, in NBA. And so it's like you would hate to see Angel Reese in that situation. Now she gets suspended. Now y'all lose the first game in the tournament because she can't play. Now you don't repeat. And now she's going to the WNBA. And so I won't want to see my star player involved in that. Yeah, it would be 
cool for like kinks or to show oh toughness, swagger, whatever it may be. But is it really worth it in the end? No, I don't think so. If I if my team needs to win this, you know, get it needs to produce in the uh, NCAA tournament. So I'm yeah. I'm just glad it wasn't the Malice in the Palace too. To be honest. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I don't have honestly, bro, I don't have an issue at all with like the the whole fight that they showed and all that. Uh because I think that's just basketball, man. Like, you know, you go to these high school games, you watch girls' high school basketball, they they get at there harder than that. Yeah, but man. for dude to jump over the the like that that just what made it corny, you know what I'm saying? After he did that, then now everybody talking about they went too far and all this. Like, but before that, man, if you watch these teams play, you know that's how they get down, right? You know that's how they get down. They physical teams, they 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 get into it like this with everybody they play. So, I mean, I don't know. It, I just thought it just got corny though when when he decided to. I don't know what he thought he was going to do. I just want to know who who he was I had no hit. idea what he was going to get the bridge hit. beat off of. Yeah, oh, that's that's all that was going to happen. Bro. From both teams. Run. Right. All the women jumping in on him. All the women was going to jump on him. All of them. Bruh. He, but yeah, he, this, he's this, not this, too much bigger than Flage. I was like, man. Mm-hmm. <laughs> but she hey, you, bro. She but this, this is... This is this is to me this is good man like fight 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 get like show show the passion show the intensity show the aggression like i want to see that in sport i can't yeah, wait to this that, energy man. i can't wait to these girls go to the wnba like because i feel like wnba has some great players like chelsea gray to me is box office I can't wait to some to the Caitlin Clark to get into the WNBA. Oh, and start. Yeah. Oh, yeah. You know what though? If you know what the, the WNBA ruins these girls though. That's the problem. It's a completely different. It ruins every single college female basketball star. It's gonna no. ruin Caitlin. It's gonna ruin Juju. No. It's gonna, I don't it's think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. The game is completely I, different. They still play like antiquated basketball. Yeah. They don't play, it's not the same game as college. College is it, so much it, faster than the WNBA. It's crazy. They need to it, start it, it, it's, a, it's a lot more loyalty, like what Josh was saying with these uh college campus. Of course, it's just like well, all of us besides Josh, we remember how uh skiggy basketball games used to be. Shit, everybody was in there for the girls and the boys. It didn't even matter who it was. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna support that. Now, if you ask the average uh female. I mean, who's the, who's the star in the WNBA? They won't know. They wouldn't even tell you. Some folks still think, bro, it's some women that still think Lisa Leslie is still in the WNBA. <laughs> that woman probably yeah. ain't picked up the ball in 15 years, man. Lisa mm-hmm. Leslie and Sue Bird. And Sue Bird, yeah. for real. Yeah, nah. Um, nah, they, they have some. I do, I do agree with you, Jason. It is a different game. But they do have some great WNBA players. I think it, it's a slower game. It's a slower game for sure. But they do have some like really good big women. They got to the get WNBA. They got to get the old women out. That's the problem. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. You got I don't like thirty-seven, thirty-eight. Yeah. Anna Taurasi, yeah. yeah. Candace home. Parker. Yeah, three yeah. old foes out of there. Yeah, and let these young girls run the league. It'll blow up. Yeah, women kill everything. Really they're killing music. They're killing sports. Like this is the golden era for them right now. I don't know about the music. Advantage. What music? We talking Stop about? It. Stop Listen, it! Stop as it! What music I, are we talking about now? As much as I don't identify with a lot of it, the the numbers don't lie. These what girls are getting. Do? These girls get a big bag. Bruh, bruh, Glow, Glorilla, go, Glorilla on fire right now. Say what bruh, you want. She only you got that one song. She was just, First she just had that song. No, she don't. Ch- yeah, what? Glow. Yeah, bruh. Tell, tell me it. another song. Tell me another song, Arlon. Bruh, that ain't my demo, no, no, but no, no, she's no, no, hot. No, 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 Tell me another song. She on fire. Tell me another. She is. I can't name Cardi B songs, but Cardi B's on was on fire when she was out. Like, come on. Uh, what bro. was that keyword you said in that was? Was Bro, real is on fire now. That's just not my demo. Yeah, like bro, there's some bro. country artists on fire no, that I don't okay. know about. Oh, That's not okay. my demo. Okay. That's not my I demo, do. bro. But but you but you said that yeah, glow real hey. quickly. 
Hey, hey, name name ten Taylor Swift songs. You can't, yeah. but she on fire. Say, no, like, I come on, that don't mean nothing. Know. It don't right. mean nothing, bro. It's not my demo. It's not my demo. Gorilla on fire. Ask any girl twenty three and younger. She on fire, bro. She on fire. What's I'm, the girl who just popped out of baby? She on fire. Like, come on, bro. Lotto on fire. Uh, what's the name? Ice Spice on fire. Come on, that's bro. True. Them girls okay, rock. As that's much true. as I hate to say it, I said two Lotto. Right. You had, I said Lotto. I said Lotto. I gave you Gorilla. What's the, what's the girl who's with Drake? Um, bend that thing over, man. Sexy Red, bro. Them girls on fire right now. What are we bro, saying, bro? The only thing I'm not giving you is Glorilla, bro. Because uh, Glorilla, Glorilla, Glow, Glow, Glorilla's on fire, bro. Glow, but, but no, no, I, I love Glow, but Glow what lost me. Glow? Thank, 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 no, I have nothing against no Glow, girls love like Glow, bro. No, no. <laughs> I want everybody to just. I love Glow, so let me go ahead and get that out of the way. If she see this, don't don't bash me because I love you. Get get a Glow. Don't get but <laughs> get a Glow. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Get glow. <laughs> <laughs> no man, it's just that one song that she made. That, like, bro, she wasn't having no hits, but that one song that I was like, all right, bro, this this is just garbage. Just whenever y'all get a chance, type in Glorilla. Uh, cha cha, and I guarantee you, you will turn that man, bro. That's not, not our demo. That's not you our demo. Ice like, Spice can't, that's not our demo. Ice Spice, they got a Ice Spice use a SpongeBob beat for one. Like, she sounds like a SpongeBob kid. I hate it. That's not my demo, though. Like, that's not my music. And you but think that's a, she, she, yeah, yeah, she got a crowd, bro. Taylor Swift ain't my demo. She got a crowd, bro. bro and you can't Swift name tip. Name no, Tim Taylor Swift song. Exactly. Know. Is she is she bigger than Beyonce, bro? Say the song. I'm talking about her. Yeah, you can name a past. Beyonce's you can name a you can name a past Taylor Swift song for all I care. She's bigger than Beyonce. I don't. Can you name ten Adele songs? Adele is that? I mean, can you name ten though? No. Exactly. That's just not your demo. Well, you what is from? I want you to name one. You telling me name ten? That's definitely, bro. Because I'm not a 23 year old girl. I'm a 34 year old man. What are you saying? Taylor Swift is our age, bro. What are you saying? I still can't. Name. I don't listen to pop. I don't listen to that shit. Only listen thing, to only Nas, thing bro. I'm saying, Jay Z, Wayne. Like, come on, Only bro. thing I'm saying. Only thing I'm saying, bro. Only thing I'm saying is that they're just not. They 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 are definitely on women, fire. And women. I wouldn't even call mm-hmm. this the golden age. Well, I wouldn't say that. Who you talking about? Oh, uh, female uh, rappers. They ain't never been this big, man. Shit, bro. Other than Queen, you got it's Queen Latifah, Lauren Hill, and bro, Look at Posse Brown. But now you got okay. Trina, but look at Cardi. Look, Trina, you telling me Lotto, those five ain't bigger than these? Nikki, bro. Nikki, 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 Nikki was bigger than all them, bro. Nikki was bigger than okay, all them. Okay, now who? Yeah, now, yeah, now, all these, who bigger than Trina? Nikki. Nikki. That's one person out of all the rest of them who's bigger Cardi. than Trina. Cardi. Cardi, 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 Cardi B. Cardi B. Stop it. Stop it. Trina, bro. Bro. Okay. Who bigger than Lauren Hill? Who bigger than Lauren Hill? Stop it. That's not fair. Head. That's not that fair. Head. That's like a, that's it. Nah, her, her, yeah. her story, she, she had like one of the greatest three albums three of all time. You can't just call she it. had one of the greatest hip hop albums of all time. Who bigger than Queen Latifah? <laughs> oh, Nicki Minaj. Nicki. You Nikki. literally naming the number one Party. person. I said out of all the rest of them, who is bigger than her? Nicki Minaj is number one. I'll give you card. I'll give you card. 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 Bigger than Missy Elliott. That's not fair. That's not fair. That's this not is fair. really all in the same but, era, though. Nikki and Missy ain't in the Missy same era. Missy ain't in the same era, bro. Missy and Cardi ain't in the same era. Stop no. it, bro. Missy, Lauren Hill, Queen Latifah, Lil' Kim, they, Trina, all those women are in the same in the okay. same. I'll, I'll, get, I'll give it to you. The person that is higher than I'll all of them is I'll give, I'll give it to you. I'll give now it to tell you. me somebody who is bigger than Queen Latifah. Tell me who's somebody bigger than Lauren Hill. Tell me somebody who bigger than Lil Kim. Come on, bro. I'm going to tell, 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 tell you who. Who? That trash, that trash ass sexy red. Because everybody listen to that motherfucker. If you, <laughs> <sexy red> is, <laughs> if you think sexy red is bigger than Lil Kim, 
Oh, Lauren, you're yeah. not bigot. Not. Lauren, that's yeah. it. Lauren, that's Lauren, it. Lauren, that's Lauren, it. Lauren, but but Lauren, 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 Bro, Lauren, Lauren, Lauren here. Lauren here. Because music. Okay, no, 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 no. Is the music better? No. But with streaming, music is worldwide now. Music more yeah. Little Kim at the end of Sexy Red's career, Sexy Red would have touched more people than Little Kim did. Yeah, That's just a fact. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. Streaming is more reach. Yeah, more more reach. reach. Bro, bro, pop in there in '96. Everybody know who Tupac is. <laughs> what the hell are we but, talking about here? Well, his music still <laughs> streams, bro. He ain't going too many away. Bro, 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 pop been dead <laughs> since '96. His music ain't going industry. away. I'm talking about Little Kim. I'm talking about Little Kim. Her music can fade. Yeah. Her it music can fade. Away. Her yeah, music can fade, bro. Yeah, what, what's the last Little Kim song you don't listen to? What's the last Little Kim song you don't listen to? Bro, I don't listen Jump to none of these women. All, 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 <laughs> 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 hey, get him, bro. Get him, bro. Bro, bro, nobody. I don't know no grown man that jams on it. On I think every man on we here too listen old, to bro. Old. We phase. Everybody we phasing phase out. out. We phasing out, bro. No, if this don't. is, if you, bro, bro, when your daughter grow up, ask her what favorite female rapper is. Constantly. That's my daughter. That's something totally different. That's her demo. That's the demo. We old, bro. That, that we yeah. not listen to that. We not listen to that, bro. It's not our demo. It's I okay. We, sex red anyway. Right. We think yeah. we can't even relate to it. Our ears it's can't everywhere. even hear it. There's a reason for it. There's a reason for it. I don't know how Listen, we went from hey. South Carolina versus the LSU to this. You brought us here, bro. You yeah. you brought up Glorilla. No, no, no. Yeah. no yo, yo I'm hate for Glorilla brought us here, bro. I, I, stop saying hate for Glorilla. Yo, I'm hate for Glow. Get him, Glow. Get him. That, yeah, glow. Yeah, glow. <laughs> for, <laughs> for one, <laughs> that's three cents mafia stuff trying to put. Yeah, ho. <laughs> I don't like that. Nah, I <laughs> hey, Hamid. I know, man. I, I ain't going to lie. I ain't going to lie. That song ride, though. I ain't going to lie. It really that song, do. <laughs> that song yeah, ride, it though. Do. That's the yeah. whole one. That's the whole one. Thank God. See, Jason, you heard that Cha Cha song. That's why I said. That was a big comeback compared to them. Uh, everybody <laughs> gonna listen to that song when we get off, and you gonna be like, "Bro, what is this?" I, heard it. I was like, "Bro, I was like, it's over with. Her run is over. It's over." Terrible. So, man. hold on, hold on. So, this is what we saying by the end of by the end of this year, those same women that are hot, man, gonna be right there next year. It won't take any antics. Oh, I gotta show my nipples or anything to stay hot. Oh, I got to drop they a sense. Right. I guess. Just, just that's just the status quo. They reach more people by the end of this year. They reach more people by the end of this year. You got to hey, think man, about man. it. You got to think what, about it, man. A lot of ahead. the subject a lot of the subject matter back then when Lil' Kim was out was like taboo. Now, them motherfuckers can say anything on the radio. Like, it don't matter. It don't. They making it nursery rhymes for the kids to sing. Man, that would happen. Music ain't the same, man. bro. It's not like, about it's, lyrics. Yeah, it's a vibe. Everywhere. All about the vibe. You know what? It's all about vibes, yeah. bro. I, I, I'm, vibe. I'm not arguing it. Now that I can't argue because that is facts. You got Megan Thee Stallion looking like a man. But what's his name? I'm trying, trying to think of because that buddy, buddy was dropping hit after hit, and then he just faded away. Uh, Fatty Wap. Fatty Wap was yeah, the hottest Fetty. thing smoking, boy. Yeah, he was. The very next year, just went away. Mm-hmm. Oh no, nah, but that was that was some legal that was legal issues, bro. That that I'm wasn't. Say you went to jail. Dude. That wasn't. Yeah, that was. That, that was later on, that. though. That was later on. Bro, yeah, legal was, issues. Oh, he couldn't put out. He couldn't put. Issues. He couldn't put out music. He yeah. couldn't put out music for a while, and then he went to jail, bro. It. Yeah, he had a. He had a lot going on. But you know what, though, I can't. On. I can't really talk about these women rappers how they talk about anything when we had a whole era. Well, it was music was just coming back to back, and it was just trash. Chicken noodle soup, stanky leg, oh, yeah. all those songs were just <laughs> yeah. back to back, and they was trash as hell. You know that. Hey, wasn't nothing trash about a uh, uh, stanky leg, bro. Leave the yeah, south alone. Leg, yeah, yeah, stay out of, stay out of this, bro. Stanky leg was trash, bro. Hey, stay, stay in Denver, bro. <laughs> you just can't dance. Good times for stanky leg, bro. Yeah, what, boy, what, <laughs> boy, yeah, boy, what? 
Hey, what about the other song? And y'all don't even remember this Get Silly. Remember that? I remember. I do. Yeah, bro. Yeah, Yeah, that was some of the worst, worst music I have ever heard in my life. Bro, the dance floor silly. The ladies gon' feel it. I oh bring come on, stop. Bro, stop. Twist in the back, then <laughs> twisting up a feeling. Yeah, yes. bro, I ain't gonna uh, lie. Uh, <laughs> I hated the second really leg so man. bad, but one night at the soul, exactly. I felt, it, I felt it in my bone. Exactly. The girl laughed at me so hard, and I looked her dead in her eye, bro. <laughs> <laughs> well, I've never been so embarrassed in my life, but I was in that thing. Do the stinky leg, girl, just pointing at me and just look me dead in my eyes. <laughs> <laughs> that so I, that's hey, all I think about every time I hear the stinky leg. You had, you had Ricky Bobby. You had uh, terrible. Terrible. Uh, nah, bro. That, that played a good. That played a good little. Uh, mo- that was a good little moment at Tuskegee. Hold on, your Shout boy. Your boy. Hold on, your boy down there. Your boy down there. Uh. Uh, Georgia, J Money, Bird, Bird Atlanta, Stupid Fruity, Crazy Swag. Hey, bro, that, hey, that was a that was a vibe, bro. They with the world. Now, that yeah, was a vibe. That was a vibe. We had on three X tall team, cool. man. We deserve that kind of music. <laughs> man, that music. House, twenty sausage biscuits. It, yeah, why don't you be mad? What could be some on the sausage biscuits? Hey, man. Them boys don't get the love that they deserve, man. Travis Port, Travis yes, they do. Lee. They no, do they down don't. here. They do no, down they, here. They, they, Enjoy they it all, get, bro. They, they don't get it the way they deserve. Nah, boy, y'all boy, don't give it. Like Amigo. At, least in, at least in Georgia. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. At least in Georgia. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. The Migos, and I'm, I'm saying to put on the record, might be one of the hottest male rap groups of all time. Oh, yeah. That Book ain't it. no argument. I, yeah, Book I believe it. that. I second it. Book it. Yeah. Book it. Yeah. Yeah. Matter of fact, I got I got one at the end. That's what we'll do. Top five there you go. rap groups ever. Okay. It's only okay. one, and I ain't gonna yeah, say well. it to the end. I ain't gonna say it to the end. So you we can wait on that. Well, you're gonna say something crazy. Man, shut mm. up, man. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Mm-hmm. You gonna say the clip? JJ said, "Right." <laughs> <laughs> <P-S-D>. <laughs> don't, 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 hey man, no, no, you wait, man, you wait till the end. You can write your own thing. We say we're going off the dome tonight, so there we go. Top five rap groups of all time, and y'all better not be coming with that trash. And yes, if Super they just funny. a group, if they if they came out with any type of group album, it's a group. Okay. All right. All it, right. It ain't All gotta right. be no official group like A Ball and MJG. <laughs> they if they did any type of group album, they a group. All right. Since All since right. Quint wanted to talk right. about this, Mr. Four Nine himself, the legendary Cat Williams. Only reason I wanted to bring this up, shout out to Cat for running that fast. A lot of you guys need to humble Allegedly. you yourself. No, no, no. He it was it was official. He I'm he went to a, <laughs> nah. I, I gotta give it. He went somewhere. <laughs> I don't know. I, was it an NFL team or, was, or college NFL, or something? NFL. He went to an NFL team and got time. It is official. The man ran a four nine. And the reason why we're talking about this is some of you guys need to humble you. Humble yourself. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Jason Walker try to tell y'all this morning you need to humble yourselves. Because a lot of y'all need to humble yourselves. Talking about oh, I'm running 4-4. Four, four. Hey. But barely way out here, but talking about I still run a 4-4. Four, four. <laughs> Can't even go up a flight of stairs without breathing hard. But you running a 4-3. Hey, Amen. So hey, man. Hey, yo. I just want to say, bro, humble yourself. I mean, I guess, boys bro. say whatever they want to say. I guess, bro, but I ain't asking no ask crackhead, no, no. bro. We'll, we'll, we'll see if somebody real. Arlon, if you ran a 40 right now, what you think you'll run? 4-9? You think you'll run a 4-9? You about to talk about, you about to fat, you about to fat shame me. You about to fat shame me. I'm 
my God, here we go. Here we go. Controversy already. Hey, 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 big people, get him <laughs> out of pocket. This man really out of pocket. You about to fast him. You see they did the Lizzo. Hold on, hold on, hold on. You see they did the Lizzo. How about this? How about this? Hell nah. Everybody say what they're going How about that? Everybody say what they'll run, and everybody say the over, and I give an over or under. No, matter of fact, they say what they'll run, then we'll do an over and under. So you say right, four right, nine. All right. Now nah, I'm just kidding. Quint, hold on, hold on. Quint. Let me get. I'll, I'll do a five two, five two, five two. You five think two. he'll run over that, uh, Quint, or he'll he'll go under that? No, I think he'll do a five two. I think he'll do a five. So two. you say even base? Yeah. What you think, Jai? Uh, Remember, I, I did play tennis now. That that don't mean that that was that was that was a time. I still play. I still play. That, 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 you ain't you ain't you ain't in prime form right now. That, that's true. That's true. I say <laughs> under. I say under for our line. I said give him a five one. There you Tiz. go. Uh, it depends. Don't worry, you gonna have keep, your time. I keep just, my hands. Just, I keep my hands closed. My fingers closed together just, when I run. We just getting up. We just getting up off the couch and running. No, no training, no nothing. No training, no nothing. nothing. Oh right yeah, oh, yeah. I could, I could do that. Right but, now. but Taz, I'm, I'm, yeah. I got a tennis yeah. tournament next weekend. I got a tennis. I'm, mean, I'm practicing. I'm practicing, Taz. Okay, don't let Brinsky fool you. Okay. Five, five. five. <laughs> so you going with I, the over? <laughs> I know yeah, you lying. Five, five. <laughs> he said, he said, he said yeah. you're a lawyer, man. So lawyers lie. He said, "He yeah. said he been sitting down." Five, five. If, if I'm a bad man, if I'm a bad man, I had to put my money on it. Yeah. That's what you got. Go when, when, when the last time you ran a sprint? Yesterday. No, like a full. Yesterday, I, I play tennis. I actively play. I play that, yesterday. That's really more like short bursts. Like that's what I'm saying. When full, the last time we run, this is forty, this is 40 yards. Yeah, forty. Yeah, forty. Yeah, 40. yeah. This is a forty yards. From the from the baseline to the middle of the service line on tennis court is forty yards. So it's oh no. not that far. Okay, let me ask you this: When you played tennis at Tuskegee, oh, did did you, did you run a four five? Not not a four five four nine. We didn't we didn't time we didn't time it. But my <laughs> freshman year my freshman year, I could run a mile under six ten, six ten six twenty. My freshman year. That ain't got nothing to do with this forty. I'm at what you did in this forty. If you we didn't, what, we didn't, what, time, we didn't have know, to time forty. I'm, I'm, I'm just asking, what do you think you could have did then? I, I could. My freshman year, I probably could have done about four six, four six four four, four five. Four four. Four six four five. I ain't believe four four. I said four six. I said four six four five. I said four four six four five. Four six four five. Moral of the story. Moral of the story. Humble yourself. I didn't. I didn't mean to say four four. I didn't mean to say four four. I didn't mean to say that. I said four six. We take a lot of you know how fast a four six is. Like take a four six. That is not slow. But 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 that depend. But it all depends on your running style and your initial burst. And do I get? Does my time start? Does my time start when I start running, or do you start my time? That also when you makes start a difference, running. right? When yeah, you start running, I can, it's yeah, I can do a four six. I can do a four six. God bless you. So you basically <laughs> running, you running faster than Keon Coleman, right? In the NFL draft at eight, at eighteen, at eighteen, at eighteen, at eighteen, at eighteen. At eighteen. yes. Really? I give you four. I ain't, I ain't, I ain't eight. gonna lie about that. You get, you give, give me four eight. I give you four eight. At the best, that's fucked up. <laughs> <laughs> like, like, <laughs> running, running, running the paint. <laughs> yeah, listen, 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 that ain't like me, bro. That ain't like me. Come on, bro. <laughs> I ain't even gonna lie. I thought you were about to I'm making, I'm making the same face Dr. Dre making behind you, bro. I ain't gonna lie, man. I thought you were about to say he'll run a four point nine seven like Cat Williams. I mean, I ain't never seen a slow crack head, bro. Nigga, crack is almost like steroids, man. It is. is. It is. I ain't never seen a crack head lose a fight, and I ain't never seen a slow one. I I seen a crack head lose a fight. I I seen him lose a fight. What's the the, the loss look like, though? I mean, did he, like, get back up? Like, so technically the fight never ended. It was terrible. 
<laughs> y'all got some crazy stuff happening in yeah. Alabama, bro. Crackheads ain't supposed to lose. They invented. Bro, y'all literally teams. have a Georgia page that literally shows crazy stuff every day. You ain't lying. Yeah, I know. But none of the crackhead, bro. <laughs> <laughs> I believe if our country was to get bombed, crackheads are gonna survive, bro. I really believe that. There's something win. superhuman no, about on. crack. I'm at ten. What do you think you would run in your prime? In my prime? Yes. Uh, probably like a five. I never was fast. Over. Over. Ten yards, probably. I was Over. quick, but like I Over. Over. Same, same here, man. Same Over. Here. Over. I don't trust those strides. I respect forty yards. <laughs> I respect I don't trust 40 yards stride. more than me. Put my I don't trust right. your stride. Listen, I mean, crazy, man. Hey, I ain't mad that's... at you. I'll probably take the over on myself. Look, it's a skill, bro. It's not just about being fast. Exactly. You're getting the exactly. time in the that's all it's it a is. Skill. You got to train to do that. Yeah. Listen, it's hard. Like, even, even me saying a five is saying I'm faster than a lot of defense alignment that just went to in the combine, bro. Now, I don't think I am. Like, so. I ain't even gonna play with it like that. But a lot of people <laughs> in the combine the don't think they run their fastest time in the combine. That's not their fastest time. Yeah, but a lot of combine players will tell you they ran a faster time than what they did in the combine. Nerves no, and all this I'm, stuff plays a factor. I'm just saying, like, okay, you in said, you said that, like you ran like a like right now you say you would run a five two. Right? Mm-hmm. A five two sounds like a slow time. But it's if not. you look down the offensive guard list of all of the guards that went and, and right and the the, four, the four hundred pound guys, yeah, yeah, yeah will, them guys, yeah, you will find people that run a five six that will beat you in the forty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like these guys yeah. are faster than you think, man. But right, right, yeah, but but it's, see, forty yards isn't a long it's, amount. Of, it's not a long distance. So really, it's about how well you can start off and how quick you can get into that stride. So that's really yeah, it. It's about the first 10 and the last 10. So, so, right, right. So I'm saying like, I'm can, saying it's somebody. The last 10. So I'm saying it's somebody who has a good initial burst of speed and I can main, I can get into that fast part quick and I can maintain it for 40. For 40. Yeah, but that's that's technique though. Like that's like. That's yeah, like, for sure. Runs out straights that are popping up. Like it's a lot that goes mm-hmm. into shaving seconds. Yeah, like, yeah, just yeah, yeah. Head, you know? For the first team, yeah, 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 it's, yeah it's for hard, sure, man. Like, I just think people are much more overconfident than. Oh the yeah, probably. definitely, definitely. So, J- so, Jason, what you running? What you running, bro? If I right now, right now, four, eight. no prime. We going prime and right now. Oh, prime four three nine. Right now, four eight four nine. Easily, I can see that. I can see it. So How if you run a four like, nine right now, then I probably weigh like a five six. Listen, five, six. I'm telling you, I listen. I grew up with one of these superhumans. You know what I'm saying? Like my brother Shout was out. consistently running four two ones and four yeah. one nines. Shout out to the goat. It is damn impossible. It's pretty impossible. I think we just get so caught up and we see the numbers. Oh, he ran a four three. Oh, he ran a four three. Like it, these people are the fastest people in the in the world. Mm-hmm. Like the average person can't wake up off their couch and run a four nothing. No, no. I seen Usain Bolt <laughs> run. They, well, they had him in that forty yard dash, and he ran a four two two in sweatpants and regular tennis shoes. Imagine <laughs> what that man would do when Three he nine. ran. Three nines, three that, eight. That is that is insane. Man. Yeah, like, I respect bro. the forty too much to, to, to cap by my forty time, bro. It's, That's me it too. Just simply <laughs> being fast, man. <laughs> I know it's like a lot that go into it. It's a, it's a lot of confident young black men out here. Oh man, it's way way too many. It's just like some dudes talking about they can get girls, but that's a whole nother subject. It's some dudes. <laughs> hey man, I can get. Well, you know how they used to be. I love man. I'm doing some dude like man. I all of them, boy. I I talk to this girl, that girl, but you look at some of these girls like <laughs> they never told you they on. quality. They just said I could get the that, girl. That's that what I'm saying. That, man, that, that's what but I'm bruh, talking. And the beauty's in the eyes of the beholder, beast. 
Oh, okay. We're gonna we gonna do that. Oh yeah. Well, we we going there. That's what we. Yeah, that's what we're saying. I, I got it. I got a few skeletons in my closet that shall never be made. Well, that that's different. Man. We, we, <laughs> yeah. yeah that, that. I feel you on the I feel you on the quality thing. There's a lot of tip drills out here, man. Indeed, it is. There's, there's a lot of tip. That's what you're running. Uh, <clears throat> in my prime, you, I play, play baseball. I, I say you still run, Josh. Yeah, you still run. Yeah, yeah. Especially yeah with my boys. My prime, I probably say like a like high school, probably like a four six. Now probably a four eight. So, yeah. Right. Josh, I'll meet you at the track, bro. We can test this out. Me versus you, one on one race. Oh, that's cool. I, like I say record it. Record it. Record it, exactly. it. Record it for the baseball speed. Say what's up. Say what's up. I got something to prove to uh, Britsky. He gonna fat shame us. Hey, that's fine. Yeah. No, I didn't fat shame no, nobody. I was nah, talking bad about you though. Nah, I'm, I'm calling. <laughs> I'm calling you. I'm calling you Lizzo 2.0, bro. Who <laughs> him or me? <laughs> you. God, man, you just started, man, tonight, man. You just, bro. What you running, no. Brian? Brian, four two. Right now, four two. What's up? Hey, I'll prove it to and our time. <laughs> We're running 40 yards. Well, I'm, willing, run, I'm willing. I'm willing. I'm willing to put every if, dollar if, I've if, ever if, made in my life. On this if one. I ran a four two, Beverly, that four two would be right here, on <laughs> and everything. If I ever ran a four two, if I ran a four two, it'd be in the on a in the thirties, in the thirty yard, not day. the forty yard. Day. Yeah, I'm, no, no, no. We no, 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 I'm playing myself. I'm playing myself now. Wait a minute, no, no. Now you were athletic back in the day, dog. Yeah, you I were. Know. Yeah. Uh, nah, no boy way, way more athletic than me, man. I, I was like a scrub compared to them. Nah, but track, y'all, I, y'all put up some, y'all put up some good athletes out there. I probably give you about like a four, 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 five. I, I would say four, five more than anything. Right now, boy, Ooh. I probably like, I probably like five, three. No, 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 no. Why well, I don't even play myself? I can give myself a uh, good four nine. Well, at, when the last time you sprint? When the last time you just sprinted? It ain't happening. So it ain't it, happening. It, it, when you ain't, when you ain't real. Yeah, you ain't real. Right. Right. Yeah, but, 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 so far away. It, but you blow, 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 way down. Blow, blow a hamstring. <laughs> so far away. <laughs> Put a dog behind me. That's chasing you. That's the motivation. That will motivate me to run. Boy, that dog, boy, that dog gonna be full as hell. <laughs> 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 I remember when they had the uh, they had the Jesus concert. Okay, they had Josh, the Jesus dog. concert. Josh, Josh, no, Josh, please record it. No, don't do. I'm not letting that go. Race this man, record it, and we're gonna put it up here. Don't even tell the results. I got you. I got you. Mm, I got you. It's up, Arlon. You yeah. heard it here first. Hey, say what? I, I ain't never ran from the talent. I ain't never ran from the talent. It's what. It's man. whatever, Josh. What's up next week? When I come back from this tennis tournament, it's on, brother. Bet, bet. Middle Georgia State. Middle Georgia State. Nah, bro, I'm picking the turf. Mm-hmm. I, ain't wait, I ain't racing on your turf. You go to Central, we go to West Side. Nah, we, 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 going, we going to my own neighborhood. Nothing. You're going to dodge hey, the potholes when you race me, brother. That's what we do. You're going to you dodge the potholes if you're racing me, bro. <laughs> Run fast if you won't, twist an ankle. Yeah, yeah. Oh, no. Well, since, since we what talking we about Cat Williams, this man right here said something about Cat Williams. Well, he was talking on uh, Nightcap about uh, the uh, haters. Now, I ain't going to lie. He do have some people that just, just hating on him for no reason. But Shannon Sharp, low-key, is just overly sensitive right now on some people, man. I'm just like, man, you can't, you can't be able to joke on other folks, and you can't uh, let them joke back now. And so he basically calling everybody a hater, and he laughing to the bank because of that Cat Williams interview. And I'm just like, mm, that sounds good and all, dog. But you low key 
real, real sensitive. I think Nightcap is one of the finest things out. You can't miss it. Except when Give It Arena is on there, man. It's just like, it kind of yeah. throws off the vibe a little bit, man. I don't know. But when it's him and Ocho, oh, oh bro, yeah. you'll probably you probably get a viral clip every night, bro. <laughs> I ain't going to lie to you. So, what? I'm trying to see how can I word it. Would y'all uh, try to see? Can Shay Shaw stop being overly, overly sensitive? Or I don't know, man. You can just speak any way you want to. I, I got you. Know. I got you. Hey, hey, man. Hey, bro. When you six three, two sixty, still benching two eighty, bro. Hey, man. If if you don't like what I say, bro, come come see me. That's just it. That's just it. Hey, nobody about if y'all, this, man. right? So, so shit, we need to stop complaining, <laughs> like, bro. Only people happens. that gonna fight this man. Only mean? people that gonna no nah, man. You you ain't about to fight everybody now. Yeah, unless it's the Rock. You'll fight unless Ross. It's the Rock. Who? You'll fight Who, Ross. Me? Me? Yeah. Oh heavens no! That boy. No, I ain't that boy. Right, <laughs> <laughs> but Shannon Sharp might. Hold on. Shannon Shout out to Ross. Hold on. A lot of folks don't know who Ross is. Shout out to Roster. Roster went to Tuskegee. Big Swole Q. I literally seen Roster get hit by a car, bend the car, and get right back up like it wasn't nothing. Swear to God, honest to God, I seen this happen. <laughs> I couldn't believe it with my own eyes. And I, I wish the Haven was up here because the Haven was in the room. The man, I, I almost said his name, <laughs> but. It was one drunk night, dog. Girl, this man exactly just kept talking, talking kept talking. This man just kept talking. And Ross was just like, bro. No, nah, the Haven was like, shut up, man. Like, shut up. Only thing I know, I just see Ross come out his shirt with his 12 pack, walk up behind the individual while they drunk and just put them to sleep. I have literally mm-hmm. never seen nobody get put to sleep. I'm talking about like legit to sleep. Wow. Yeah, Shout out you to know Ross, man. But, bro, even while we on roster, even even bigger than that, bro. I mean, he awesome. played tennis with us. He played tennis with us. But, bro, roster might be one of the smartest people I have ever freaking met. Triple shout major. Out to Triple major. Shout out, shout out to roster athlete. And uh, if you ever see him in the street, leave him alone. <laughs> <laughs> and can speak about five or six languages. Yeah, for, for facts, facts. And me facts. saying. He's really one of the most interesting people I ever met in my life. I ain't gonna yeah, lie to yeah. you. So when, when people like that talk trash, you just gotta let them go. You just gotta let them go. Ross, if, if you, if, when they if they sensitive, just let them be sensitive, bro. Matter, okay. matter of fact, Rossi reminds me. I know Ted and Jason know. He reminds me of Coach Shaw. Mm. That's a, just that the Rossi is that as a young Coach Shaw. <laughs> okay. <laughs> that is that's how the best way I yeah. can describe this man. Leave him alone. Yeah. Him alone. <laughs> please, please, please. Rest in peace, Coach Shocker, by the way. For sure. Coach Shocker mm-hmm. tried to mm-hmm. kill him, man. <laughs> <laughs> he out there running that sand. Yeah, that's what I was just about to say, man. That man got me one time and I ain't come back. I like it. I had to work out like I ain't never had before. Hey, hey, crazy thing, he lived across the street from me. So see, you already know he was like, Clint, come on, come on over here. I was mm-hmm. like, oh hell no. Nah. <laughs> I, I couldn't put my own clothes on. Hey, I was, hey, I was in his backyard on the stand, <laughs> got now running. Well, I was like, I'm gonna tell you, boy, you gonna you're gonna be in the best shape of your life, dog. The best shape of your life. No. I ain't got really to talk about with uh Shannon Sharp. So you already know. I didn't want to get that off. But we can talk about this. Your our top five. Who are your top five? So I can hear these terrible top five. It's only one. If I hear a different one, I'm gonna be pissed. Oh, so so anybody can go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. I'll go first. Hold on, hold on. You uh, hear what the top five was? I'll go first. I'll I'm go talking first. about Quint. No, nah, you said there's only one top five. I was like, only one no. top five? 
I mean, uh, not not one top five, only one number one. Okay. Yeah. Um, I, I got my five, one and two. I got I got my I got my one to two. The other three in the order, but my one is Wu Tang. Number two is Outkast. Those are my one and two. Those are my one and two. Number three. Any order after this, I'm going NWA. Number four. Go amigos five. I got the locks. The locks. Uh, I wish I could throw this hat in the air, but it's so <laughs> much happening. It's so much happening. What? Stop what? it. Bro. You bro, put Please it. stop. You bro, put the locks in there. Let me see. I, I like I like the locks. Five, he likes the locks. I like the locks. I like the locks. It ain't about what okay. That's that's his five. That's his five. You like what he likes. He like what he like. He really <laughs> like uh, number one, I'm gonna say NWA. Number two, a tribe, a tribe called Quest. Number three, Outcast. Number four, Bone Thugs and Harmony. Number five, Migos. So you ain't even gonna put Wu Tang in there, bro? Hold on, hold on. Say that again, my fault. With all five? Yeah, my fault. NWA, a tribe called Quest. Outcast. What's it? Bone Thugs and then uh, Migos. Who number one? I put NWA. Okay, that's the order you were going with. Okay, oh, yeah. I thought you were going five to one. Uh-uh, okay. no, one, one to five. That's what I did. Oh, okay. So. You want me to go? I'll go. Yeah, go <laughs> ahead. <laughs> number five. Yin Yang Twins. There number you go. four. Yeah, exactly. Number four. Diplomats. Number oh. three, outcast. Uh-huh. Number two, hot boys. Mm. Mm. I ain't Number never argued that. Migos. Number one? Mm. Uno. No. Bruh, bruh, I, I, bruh, Uno. Bruh, they you have can't... so many hits, bro. Exactly. So Uno. many. It doesn't matter about line nature. <laughs> no, 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 never mind. I got okay. I got my okay. number one. Yeah, so line A twenty over day twenty. If you just right. doing rap lyrical ability, it's either yeah. Wu Tang. I ain't talking about rap lyrical ability. I'm talking about songs, popularity. Oh, Migos. Oh, Migos. Oh, yeah, don't, Migos. Worry. Migos. don't worry. Don't worry. Migos. Don't worry. Migos. Don't worry. Migos. Number one. Number one. Tens. Don't All worry. Time. We're gonna argue about this in a second. <laughs> don't worry. I'm ready for this. So one. I, I I had number five. Uh, Hot Boys. Four oh, Migos. Three NWA, two eight ball MJG, and hey, uh, number one outcast. Bro, I'm just my favorite. Bro. You, I, don't know you what I love eight ball, but outcast. you know they they don't yeah, they don't outcast. got popularity outside the South for real. Who? Eight ball MJG. I love eight ball. I love eight ball, but you know they they're right. southern. The yeah. Right, 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 right. The South right. made the best music. The South right. didn't make the best I live music. in the South, man. Bro, y'all just complained about the South music, bro. This man just made fun of the Soldier Boy. <laughs> I, ain't, I ain't here for none of that. That joke was trash? It was. <laughs> but we were jamming. <laughs> <laughs> what me do my boy? Well, what bro, you can't, my- bro, hey. I, I bet you play Soldier Boy at your wedding. <laughs> I, I really had yeah. to talk about it. No idea. Yeah, I know. No idea. I know. Bet y'all all in there wooing. Hold on, wait yeah. a minute. I know. Hold on, hold on. Shout out to my cousin, Brad Shoot Fred, out. because he did not Shoot play out. it. He didn't play oh, yeah. that. Shout out to Nah. Shout out to Parlay. Where's my hat? I call Cap. Someone put Parlay. Cap up. I, 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 if somebody recorded the whole wedding, then, matter of fact, nah. I don't think that nigga played that. Now, he probably played Shootout. That'll probably be the closest thing he played to yeah. Soldier Boy. Yeah. Yeah. Shoot out. Uh, shoot out. Uh, can I get a group? I ain't gonna lie, bro. Now, now that one was that one. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. <laughs> oh shit! Running with dancing, bruh, bruh, hey, hey, hey! Let me tell you, back in the, I used to kill him when I pulled the rifle out. It's over with. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you something. 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 Let me tell you something
<laughs> bro, that was something. Bro. Oh, man. John, what you got for me? Please tell me you got something better. I, I, I ain't gonna lie, I don't. But it's, but since I'm the youngest of the uh, crew, uh, number five, I got rich kid. Uh, Bruh, got, uh, what's the I got, uh, then I got number four, Migos, then Wu Tang, uh, playing, then Outcast, then NWA. No more. Josh ain't a big rap head, though. We he hit the like, like, like Josh, Josh, Josh on, if we did top five Christian group, Josh on it. Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah for sure. Man. I get you, Josh. I feel you, brother. I feel you. That's my pastor, bro. Hold on. I had, hold on. Sean, I'm going to tell you an argument I had with Sean after I give mine. And I, we're going to settle this tonight. Because Sean, you know, of course, Sean's from Atlanta. Yeah, but Sean tried ahead. to argue me down about this rich kid stuff. Because I hate, I, I, I never really got into it. I did like two songs that they made Sweet. with what my partner in them. And uh, what's up? <laughs> that was it. That was it. But Sean, Son is from Atlanta, so he would know. But I didn't agree with this. But my five got a ball and MJG. Mm-hmm. Four hot boys. Three UGK. I ain't putting nobody. Two three six mafia, which all y'all need to be slapped in the face. For not putting three six mafia anywhere in that for what? For and what? number not one what? and not number what? one ain't nobody seeing them in no verses is outcast. Matter of fact, even honorable mention, good and mob. Hey. I'm here to, I'm dying hey, on bro. that. Hey, hey, bro. I want to add team. UGK to my list. Yeah, I, I know about that. I don't. I, that UGK is yeah, number six, no, ain't cool. six for me. I don't. Yeah, they 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 could be top ten. Yeah, boy, oh, right. back, laying in the shade. Ain't nobody tripping because the money already made. Rest in peace to the pimp, man. Yeah, bro. Man, stop yeah, it, man. That, yeah, we, man, for, for one, man, you need Josh. Hey, man, you a good brother, man, but don't you ever say no rich kids in my presence. Hey, up, bro. Hey, hey, bro. bro. You ain't going to get off the pastor. And second off, rich kids, was, rich kids was a vibe, bro. They, de- they yeah. define your college career. Yeah. 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 Rich kids was a vibe. Rich kids was a vibe, bro. They they define your college career. They defined it. Yeah, in our childhood. He's 82. My childhood. Rich kids. Oh, 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 we was in college. No. Yeah, we were just getting that college. Yeah. Rich kids. Nah, bro. Rich kids, bro. Think about it. Think about uh Panama, that whole vibe, bro. Did you go? You went on one of the Panama trips, right? Yeah, 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 see, bro, see, bro. yeah bro. I seen some of the best knockouts, boy. Let me ask. Let me ask yeah. you. Bro, I seen should, some of the best. Should G Unit be in the top five? No. You said G Unit. No. G Unit. Uh, bro, they can they can get it. They can get in the top ten. They get in my top ten. They in top ten, mm-hmm. but they number ten. I, I, I mean, ain't putting them no. How many albums they got? I mean, bro, they, but they, you they got, got a bunch of mistakes. Yeah, they got they got a bunch on. But yeah. I'm not, and, not putting them above nobody. And you still got you got fifty discography. You got the games discography. No, we're talking about groups. We're not talking about individuals. Now we talking about individuals. But, bro, we can really go there. But bro, but bro, but bro that, that they make up the group. The they make up the group. Yeah. Oh no, group. we talking about we talking about you. You gonna go just three six mafia and on the project Pat's uh, albums and stuff like that? Come on, bro. Project Pat is a solo artist, <laughs> right? Right, but they also part of a group. Three six mafia. Exactly. So you're not gonna include his discography. He's part of the group. I want to edit my. Got it. You got to include this yeah, yeah, me too, bro. I was <laughs> looking at you. Yeah, yeah, you yeah, put yeah, hot, yeah, hot Boys on the Hot Boys albums? You put Hot Boys in the top five best on the, on the Hot right, Boys albums. Every, every, every song I can name a 3 six Mafia ain't got nothing to do with Project Pat being the lead. I, 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 I feel you, but I'm just saying, you saying the Hot Boys is your top five group based on just the Hot Boys albums? Bro, have you not heard these albums? I have. I have. I have. Did you compare that man. body... You compare that body of work to Wu Tang, bro. I only think Wu Tang got well. Wu Tang Forever was a cool album, but um, I forgot how many chambers. Thirty six. Thank you, thirty six chambers. Now I ain't gonna lie, thirty six chambers. 
do got some bangers on there. Cream, I play almost every week. That's Cream cool. was a good one. These folks get no spin on my, method, on my method, 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 method man was a good one. But, but still, but still, come on, no man. Put, 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 put your neck is fine. Yeah. Oh, that's a good one. Bro, I, so I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you just doing the Hot Boys based on Hot Boys album. You can't even tell their story like that, bro. Like, you got to grab some of their solos. You got to grab tell a damn good one, though. <laughs> I mean, uh, all right, so I guess everybody list changed. We guerrilla warfare. I want to know what y'all changed on y'all list since y'all going there. Okay, kid and play okay, city girls. Oh, my bull. Mm. I, I do city kid girls. and play city girls. City uh, girl, city girl win. Yeah, but so, stop playing. Stop playing. Kid stop playing. Play. I fuck with them. I fuck with it. Cross. Hey, hey. Hey, Jason. No, I, Jason. Jason, I, I lived in, live in Florida for six years. I lived in Florida for six years. This ain't no city. You know you ain't say no city. Bro, I lived in Florida for six years, bro. Stop it. Stop it. City Race girl. from a city I girl. I don't, I don't, let, me, let me tell you something. <laughs> they were all on with playing in their car. Hold on. You saying city girls all on? Mm-hmm. This, this, this nigga all on in the car playing real bad bitch give a fuck about it. Nigga. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm driving, my girl twerking. <laughs> I'm hopping up. I'm driving, she twerking. You girl, saying big burger bag? All five, six, six. <laughs> hey, 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 say what you want. Say what you want. Go to a brunch. Watch that thing set it hey, off in hey, there. Hey, what you, what you gonna be saying hey. like this? But that's Atlanta, though. <laughs> now that's Atlanta, bro. That's Atlanta. No, you gotta leave Denver, bro. What the world are y'all playing up there, bro? What y'all got in the clubs up there? They say hey, stop it. Bye, Russell. You, bye, right. bye, Russell. Yeah, that's what they say. <laughs> bye, bye, Russell. That's what they say. <laughs> but y'all think, but y'all think Colorado or HBCU up there? I don't know what y'all got going on in Denver, bro. Man, my, nah, my nigga, they, they, got, they got some straight. They got some straight shit out here. A lot of people don't really think it's a lot of black people here, but it's actually a lot. And I, I, like, I I can't tell, bro. You don't even know the city girls. City girls ain't even make it up there yet, bro. I yeah, can't tell. Girls, I don't know what y'all doing. I don't know. I don't know what you're doing up. up there, bro. Hey, number one. I'm sorry, bro. <laughs> I don't number play one, city one. girls every day like you. Top, top six. Top six. <laughs> top six. What? Oh, Shout to man. JT. <laughs> <laughs> what JT money? <laughs> He fired you too. JT money. I think he fired too. Hold on, we may have another group. Dude, <laughs> oh, man. Up around all the dudes, I ain't gonna lie to you, boy. I, I certain things I want. Sixty nine boys. Sixty nine boys. We may have another group. Yeah, I listen to Fiend. I listen to, um, of course, UGK, Three Six Mafia, all them boys. Yeah, yeah. Two. Uh, Fat Pat. Mm-hmm. Man, shout out Deuce Conrad. Man, I'm gonna shout out shout all out the dirty boys. Man, dirty, dirty boys. boys. Hey, oh, dirty boys. Small town ballers. <laughs> Small town ballers. Man, Line boys. All that. Yeah, boys. Mm-hmm. Man, man, I had an awesome child. <laughs> you can't tell me that, bro. <laughs> and I wasn't supposed to know none of these songs. Um... None of it. None of it. None of it. Man, I'm them, like, them, them artists got more reach now. You imagine if the internet was popping like, oh, like it is now when the internet was out. Man, man, listen here. Project Pack, Get It Green, probably would have been on a whole nother status. Oh, for sure. I, it's a lot I, think that, I think that album needs to be studied, man. <laughs> mm-hmm. Not Get It Green, uh, Mr. Don't Play. Mr. Well, Mr. Don't Play easily needs to be studied. That man was matter of fact. Yeah, he went crazy on it. Bro, I can go. Man, I, I'm just disappointed, man. Niggas ain't had UGK and they shit. They had Three Sis Mafia. I'm Thanks like, bro, that, bro that, that, that is literally my childhood, dog. Uh, they, they my top 10. They my yeah. top 5. They my top bro, I'm gonna take. I'm going to take me goes out of mind, man. I know you will. Just because I don't listen to them. I mean, shit, they probably deserve to be in the top five 
You talking now, that about culture that culture album was on a whole different level. Them yeah, niggas, like, them they, niggas, they deserve to be top. Like, two like realistically, they probably the most one of the most influential groups when you're talking about they what easily on um, look how everybody now. rap like you, yeah yeah but yeah as far as i listen to nah I right, right. Come on the radio, right? everybody has a music age where they phase out yep. you hear you hear your music yeah. and at a certain point <laughs> it just phase out because the sound you know the sound changes and you don't agree with the sound so like even even rappers like uh-huh. I still, you know, I still listen to like the Nas, the Jay Z's. I still listen to Wayne rap. I still yeah. listen to all that stuff. Um, but the new rappers, like the Glow Realists, she everywhere. But I couldn't tell you a song it's like Taylor Swift. Taylor Swift everywhere. I cannot tell you a Taylor Swift song. You know, yeah, Glow. I don't, <laughs> bro. I just know, yeah, Glow. Like not the song, but the words, yeah, Glow. Yeah, yeah. that's the name. Of the song. <laughs> that's the name of the song. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I mean, <laughs> we, we on this again, man. We on this again. Yeah, bro, you, you keep breaking us. You keep you brought us here, bro. Yeah, bro, every time you come here, you brought us here. Yeah, right now, bro. Just give her flowers, bro. It'll go away. I feel like no, I'm I'm giving, I think she's fine, man. I think she's fine, but. But uh, here um, we go. Say, bro, oh, you you just take it all away. Forward. Yeah. Hey, don't don't get him, Glow. I, I changed my mind. I don't want you to get him. <laughs> don't get him. No, don't get me, Glow. <laughs> man, stop it, man. It, yeah. It's I don't know, man. Cause I also got a big announcement tonight, but we're gonna say that just a little bit long because I forget. I, I don't know why I'm doing this right now. About to post it to uh. To the thing. Thank God. Hey yo. <laughs> go ahead. Hey, you know how you know how girls uh go on dates just for food? What's the guy equivalent to that? Chris. Oh hold on, we hold on. That that what we ain't talking about. Good old Drake. There you go. So, you so go. now you explain the situation and explain the difference, and then I'll make this now, and then we'll get off. Okay. So, just with the mess reported, that there's it's rumors mad. that. Why are you saying just bruh. with the mess, bro? I'm bro, that's, 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 that's her name on the Breakfast Club, bro. <laughs> just with the mess. Don't do that. Yeah, man. Shout out to Jess. Shout out to All man. right. So, Jess reported that Drake. It's rumored to be in a relationship with Lotto or to be having relations with Lotto's little sister. Lotto's little sister's 21, and I think Drake is 37. And people were in uproar. And I thought, you know, it's strange that people in such uproar about this when the reverse happens and an older woman dates a younger man, mm-hmm. no one speaks on it. Jaylen and Green. then I started thinking about the Jalen Green mm-hmm. and Drea Mitchell situation, where you have this 39-year-old woman who had a baby with this 22-year-old. Mm-hmm. And we all know the NBA money checks are working right now. And I just want to know, why is this double standard acceptable the other way? What y'all think? Mm. There is a double standard, but those two two situations that you brought up are totally like, different. Yeah, they totally different. Ooh, how you think they different? And then, and then on top of that, because they in a relationship, we already know how right. Drake get down. You feel me? Drake ran out of stadiums for for bitches. And and okay, okay, and, you know, okay, switch it, switch it, switch it. Um. Let's take Marcus Houston. He married an eighteen-year-old, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. The world was in uproar about that. Now I have my own reason why I didn't like that, but yeah. the world was in an uproar with that. Yeah. Why would they be in an uproar with this when not being an uproar with the latter? It's a double standard. It's a double standard. Yeah, yeah it's, it's a double standard. I agree yeah. with you, but I'm just saying. 
It, because it, women aren't like, held to the same level of responsibility as men. Yeah, that's, that's what I'm it saying. Because it, it's it's like it's like Arlon, like it, 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 if a let's say a 25 year old woman saw a uh, a little six seven year old boy at the um uh, at the store and told told her told his mom, oh he's cute, you know what I'm saying? There wouldn't be no second thought. But if a 25 year old man did the same thing to a seven year old girl. I <laughs> see excuse. Now, somebody they don't want to the guy arrested for pedophilia immediately. Like, I mean, yeah. he's gonna be in, in yeah. he's gonna go to prison for five years. I mean, they gonna all fact. Yeah. Yeah. Fact. Now, one last thing. <laughs> now, one last thing. Yeah. Ain't so. Yo, I pictured it happening, and that Dang. joint was hilarious. Yeah. You 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 right, and I don't understand why society has that standard. I do. I don't like when people deal on such unequal terms for whatever gender, like twenty two and forty two. Someone has twenty more years of Earth experience than you. Y'all can't deal mentally on equal terms. You know what I mean? It, I I just don't like how the, it always gets shipped to men when they do it, and it never gets shifted to women. Because I honestly think that women, because of because of nature, they have to mature faster. Like if you have a if you have a girl, a daughter, you're going you you have to almost have a sex talk with them before you have it with a little boy, just because she doesn't have a cycle. You know what I'm saying? Them cycles can come at eight years old. So at eight years old, you're trying to explain like you got you gotta have a sex talk or something close to it. So since they develop faster. You know, I, I I hate having to deal on such unequal terms, and, and you see them always piling on the guys, but they never pile on the women. And I, I just wanted to see what will be all thoughts about that. But you're right, Josh. It is it's just a double standard. Yeah. It is. It well, is. very true. Yep. I think everybody got got that. Uh, I don't need to say nothing on this because we are everything that everybody was saying was nothing but facts. We all know. I work and a lot of women ain't held accountable. So we ain't gonna even go down that road. But some that's been in the works for the longest man. I've been telling since probably since the first part. Oh man, we're gonna do interviews and all that good stuff. And we on uh week 28, because we haven't missed a week yet. Yes, sir. And so I've been lying to y'all for 27 weeks <laughs> about we're going to have interviews and stuff like that. But ladies and gentlemen, it's finally official. It's dropping Thursday at 6 o'clock. Ladies and gentlemen, from the 46, Tuskegee, Alabama, the director of Who Clone Tyrone, Mr. Jewel Taylor, will B on the pod. Shout out to Jewel for showing love to the pod, man. Fire interview. So be on the lookout for that on Thursday. Can't wait for it. And definitely got some uh insight on a lot of things. And also shout out to my mom. The reason why I said that, which I found out way before it. I didn't know what I should have known. My mom was literally pretty much everybody's Cub Scout. And guess who was one of her little scouts? Jules. So <laughs> shout, shout, shout out yeah. to Jew Way. My dog is going down, man. So, yeah, first big interview. We going up, man. We going up. Yes, sir. Oh, shout, yes, out. Sir. shout out, shout yeah. out, shout out to you, dog. Shout out for landing that, landing that. Shout out for putting on for your city. Um, Tuskegee is a magical place, and we never really hi- we don't highlight it as much as we should. But there's a lot of history. We we talked about the the athletes that come out of the city, but now you're highlighting some of the cultural arts that come out of the city, and then so, how some of the people give back, like your mother. So shout out to you, man, for having the opportunity to do this. Real, no. real talk. Oh, yeah, man. Appreciate it. Oh, yeah, man. We just getting started. It's going to be 
some other ones that's in the works, man. Definitely. I don't want to get the cliches that I know I can easily get. I want to uh, get some folks, but I knew the first interview, I wanted to be somebody from the city. And it's kind of very, very unique journey the way he's at right now and what he um, got planned. So we're going to see how it goes. But also, I'm going to be a model, too, for a what certain you, somebody. I'm going to be a model. model? Toes? What you model? Socks? Hey, mm-hmm. man, if somebody got some shoes, but that's all I'm going to say. Man, this man going to paint his toes white. <laughs> no, what? Paint my toes? Hey, I, I appreciate you, Brent. I appreciate you. Somebody going to be, I don't know, I don't know. You appreciate me, man. I don't, I'm just putting you on the screen, sir. I appreciate that man. You, man, I, we just got to show love to you, brother, man. Hey, you're a proud it. supporter. A proud, proud supporter. I just want to just show out, show off for everybody. Everybody doing big things, man. Quinn in hey. the skybox. I don't want to get out there with the skybox with Quint, man. That man literally in the skybox <laughs> at the Nuggets game at, with his company. I felt like there he ain't do enough in the skybox, man. I'm still mad about that. You ain't do enough. I would have act like I, I didn't belong there. I'm taking pictures of everything. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look, I got plenty more times to go, so. Yeah. Shoot, oh, man. Man. I'm, boy, I would have been live like, man, y'all got to step the game up. I don't even go live, and I would have went live like, man, y'all got to step the game up, man. We doing big things up here, man. You got to rub elbows. You got to believe in God, man. You got to get you <laughs> Bro, I be doing too much, boy, on that thing, bro. Uh, hey, it's crazy because like, they it was bringing uh, – like people, family was coming in there too, man, and they was doing the same thing you were saying, man, bro. I'm in the skybox, bro. God, <laughs> God, bro, on everything, man. We made it, bro. bro. I'm telling you, bro. Easily one of my favorite. Well, it's definitely up there. It's top five Martin episodes ever. When that nigga made it to the skybox, bro. <laughs> yeah, like, bro. He said, man, we in the skybox. <laughs> and when my man got kicked out, like when Pam got kicked out, bro, if you have not seen that episode, bro, that is easily yeah, top five yeah. Martin episode ever, dog. That's the every time I think of anybody in the skybox, that's all I think about. I'm gonna make it to the skybox, man. For sure. Hey, you, For hey, sure. you come to Denver, man. I got you. You heard him, ladies and gentlemen. I heard. I'm gonna make a trip just because. It's on the record. It's on the record, man. But Sarah going to be mad at me, man, because she said that was one of her things. I said, man, I got to rub elbows with some of the right people, man. We'll make it up there. <laughs> but Denver, all right. Hey, yep. Denver lit, bro. Denver, all right. It's straight out here, bro. Like, bro, wait, this man was sitting there, and, like, he can see the game so good, though. And they had everything in there. Like, bro. They had a whole buffet in there, man. Food, all you can drink, beer, liquor, everything, man. And they restock it, every, you know, every game. So I'm like, Bye. shoot. I'm like, shoot, that's what's up. Man, I don't even want to know. Nah, I'm going to start talking about it so I'm getting mad. <laughs> as always, <laughs> as always, we made it to the end of the show. Shout out to the brothers for coming on here, man. But we let them shout out what they got going on, they uh, IGs, they Twitters, and all that good stuff. So since Jason, you... Oh, uh, and trust me, dog. You can come on anytime. I don't I know what took. I don't. I don't know what took Ted so long. And the man got on. He was like, "Man, I'm the way no man invite." Now I can't get rid of him. The man on the show. I love him. I love him on the show. <laughs> Same thing with Josh. Josh seen got that uh bug in him, and just couldn't stay away from the show. I knew mm-hmm. he was coming on this week. He was one of the main ones. With that Kirk Cousins sign, I had to make sure he was on the show. <laughs> Shout out to Sid Haven who couldn't get up. <laughs> pause. But, but yeah, pause. Pause. Definitely pause on that. But that my crazy. dog worked for the Atlanta Braves. I'm gonna keep shouting it out until it's official. Until he start in April. 
So shout out to him. But go ahead, uh, Jason. Yeah, you can uh, you can follow me on Instagram. Uh, I'm a I'm a part time sneaker designer, I guess. I'm gonna call myself. But yeah, you can follow me on on Instagram at Jason Bernard Official. Uh, you know, I, I just want to say I appreciate you letting me come on here and just just kick it with y'all for a couple of hours, man. I'll definitely come back, man. This is way more fun than I thought it was gonna be. I gotta admit, you got a bunch of good people with you, Brisky, for sure. Yep. Oh yeah. Yeah, man. I got a um Tuskegee sneaker coming out in a couple of months. Very proud of it. Put a lot of work into it. So it's something that I wanted to do for a long time. So it's something for us. I just appreciate you for always supporting and, and pushing and sharing and all that good stuff, man. I really do. It's only the beginning, dog. Only the beginning. Gwen, go ahead, dog. Hey, man. It's QG, man. You can follow me on Instagram, QG underscore sophisticated. Follow me on Facebook, QG Ready. Um, so appreciate you for having me, Brinsky. I got you on the on, on the sky box. <laughs> <laughs> Sophisticated. <laughs> Yo, what up? Um, you can follow me on social media, but I'm off social media for a while, so you won't get accepted till I get back. Um, I'm not giving legal advice, but if you get in the comments, I'll argue about sports with you. Tune in next week to see the results of me and Josh race when I dust them. And as always, shout out to uh Glow real, I'm sorry, Brisky was disrespecting oh you like my that. God, let it go. Um, <laughs> and yeah, shout out to B Sharp for the podcast, brother. Yeah, yeah what's up, Tez? Uh, hold on. Photo <laughs> image, all platforms. Same old, same old. Man, shout out to Brisky for having me. Like you said, give me an opportunity to say stuff that usually piss people off, but. This is a good environment for me to do that. Uh, now, when we get off air, I got to get my money ready so I can bet on this uh, race between Arlen and Josh. Uh, <laughs> my money on Josh. I'm going to tell you which way I'm leaning. <laughs> I ain't going to tell you which way I'm leaning, but uh, yeah. That's it, man. Ah, what's up, man? Yeah, man. I always appreciate Brinsky, man. Uh, you all can follow me on social media, Joshua Dennis. I always gonna rep my boy UGA, go dogs. Burn it. Uh, I guess I guess you gotta uh my motto this year gonna be you like that, I guess, until Kirk Cousins uh retires from the NFL. Um, but I guess we gotta roll with it. But uh <laughs> can't wait for y'all to see this race between me and our line. Been my boy ever since I've been, I don't know, a child. <laughs> And so, uh, looking forward to it. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, I'm the host, Mr. Brinsky Shaw, of the Shaw Shooters Podcast. We drop every Wednesday. Uh, don't matter what time, but just go ahead and check us out. Subscribe to the channel. Like I said, watch out for the uh, interview on Thursday with Mr. Jewel Taylor. Shout out to... Uh, do for that appreciate all the guys and as always and forever f <laughs> auburn and roll tide <laughs>